Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to steal supercars in GTA 5 RP. This is going to be a long one, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. This mega mansion is owned by a billionaire. And today, I'm going to try to steal seven supercars owned by billionaires without being caught. But there's a problem. The cars are spread out all over the city, and most of the billionaires have security systems, armed guards, and more. So this won't be easy. And make sure you watch all the way to the end to see what happens. All right, so the first car is over here in Vinewood. According to the map, it is stashed here at one of these mansions. So I'm going to drive by. I see a guard already. There's another one here. Okay, so the car is definitely inside of there. Since there's a guard at both entrances, I'm probably going to find a way to sneak in through the back because this car is definitely worth a whole lot of money. I wonder if I sneak in through the gate, if I could like hop over the fence in the backyard and then kind of just make my way to the car, lock pick it and drive away is probably going to be the best bet. So here we are. All right, I think I know how to get in. If we hop over this hedge right here, we should be able to make it into that house, which is where the car is stashed. Hopefully, at least. There was a ton of guards there. That's where I was told the car is. Probably a safe bet that someone is going to be in here. Let's get our rifle out just in case we have to take out any security. But I think I can just hop over here. Yeah, I can. That's perfect. Okay, really quickly, let's come around here and make sure there's no guards. All right, let's come around. Okay, yeah, there's a guard on the side of the house right there. Okay, and then we got a guard talking to someone in the backyard. That actually might be the owner of the car. That could be the billionaire. So let's go around this side and hopefully none of them can actually see me sneaking along. Let me just stick close to here. Hopefully. Oh yeah, perfect. This is actually perfect. It's actually perfect. And we'll just stick through the bushes. Don't see me. Don't see me. Any movement? No movement. All right, that's good. That is good. And now I'm all wet. <laughs> okay. All right. Right over there. Quickly. All right, we're good. We are good. We're past the guards in the backyard. I would bet my life that there's probably a guard right here. And there is. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm, I'm, I'm too good at this. I'm too good. I know where they are. Before I kill him, I want to make sure there's no one else. Okay, there's a guy here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this guard, and then I'm going to shoot the guy in front of me. So three, two, one. There we go. Both of these guards are down. I really hope there's not a third one right here. Don't think so. All right, good. All right, we're going to come over here and lock pick into the car. Here we go. So far, it's going smoothly. All right, first car going smooth. All good. No problem. Let's just unlock it. Looking for EH. Here we go. Click unlocked. We're going to hop in. We're going to turn it on. And we are going to drive away. Come through here. Oh, oh my God. All right, yeah. Okay. I guess they heard me turn the car on. They heard me turn the car on. Oh my God. All right, you know, I'm just going. <laughs> just going i was not expecting the gunshots i was expecting it right when i left but i guess the guards that were posted at the front of the gates heard me turn it on but you know we managed to escape we got a couple of bullet holes in it but we have the freaking lamborghini dude this thing is so nice need some paint work but you know it's all good we got the car so that is car number one successfully stolen all right, I'm over here at the second location, which is a hotel in the server. Apparently, I am looking for a yellow McLaren Senna. I'm assuming it's going to be parked right out front of here at the Von Krastenberg Hotel. So let's see. We got... Oh yeah, there it is out front. Okay, I'm seeing some guards and some people out front. So I doubt I can kind of just go in and steal it. So let me, let me come down here and try to think of a solution. Okay, it looks like we have some security, a valet. Well, there's an R8 here, but you know what? This one is way more expensive. So we're going to go for the McLaren. All right, what I have to do is I have to find a way to get close to the car and with the security there that's just not going to happen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to lure one of the valet guys away from them basically hold him at gunpoint steal his outfit put it on say oh yeah i have to go bring the car somewhere and then i will drive away hopefully without too much confrontation so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my mask off i should probably also take the gun off of my back you know, it's probably a good idea. And we're going to run up and say, hey, guys, we have a problem. We have a problem. I just need one of the valet guys to come with me. He's going to follow me into the parking garage where he is going to get robbed at gunpoint. So let's go ahead and put it into action. Hey, hey, valet, valet, valet. What's yeah. Going on? Hey, there's a there's a car. I think it's one of your guys' cars that you parked. It's like smoking. It's all scratched up in there. You, you got to come with me. Like, I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, this is actually working. It's actually working so good. Did you guys like take it for a joyride or something like that? Not that I'm aware of. No, I mean, it looks pretty messed stop like look at this thing dude like look at it oh dang that thing is smoking like crazy listen i know it's not really smoking but i do need something though i need you to put your hands up right now all right put your hands up don't worry about it i'm gonna put you in handcuffs really quick i just need your outfit all right i'm not gonna kill you oh, okay please don't kill me i have a family right, just don't move don't resist 
I'm not going to. I have a family. All right. Now, I'm just going to borrow your outfit, okay? Don't even okay. worry about it. What is it you need? I know you need my clothes. Listen, I just... This is all I needed. This is literally all I needed. I just need you to stay here. Don't move or I will shoot you in the head. Sure, someone will find you later, all right? You know, you'll be found in like an hour. All right. We got his outfit. This is actually exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to run up and be like, yep. Yeah, the guy was... He was just messing around. You know, he was trolling. No big deal. Yo, know, the uh, the guy's dealing with the dealing with the car the car issue. So I'm just here for now. Oh, all right. Um, Listen, Mr. Mr. Jones said he wanted uh, me to pull the car around. Yeah, keys for it. Oh, yeah, of course. There you go. Here. All right. Thank you. I will. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to pull it out front. I'll be here. All right. This is actually working perfectly. This is working so good. This is working so freaking good. And we are just in the freaking McLaren. This guy is just sat here handcuffed naked, bro. He can't do anything. And I am driving away. Oh my God, bro. Dude, these plans are literally 5,000 IQ. Like these are the two easiest cars I've ever stolen. But guys, really quickly, if you're enjoying these videos so far, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Subscribing is free. You can always unsubscribe later. But guys, that is car number two successfully stolen so i'm gonna stash this up with the other one switch my outfit and we're gonna go try and steal the next car on the list all right the next car we're gonna steal is over at a dealership apparently it's owned by the owner of that dealership and it is a blue mclaren p1 so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go in there pretend to be a customer until i can find a way to gain access to the car then again i'm just gonna lock pick into it steal it and drive away like we've been doing and i am absolutely cruising through this list right now ignore the car all right it was just it just ignore the car, please. All right. <laughs> I promise, guys, I have a better garage than that. We're just going to walk in. I'm not wearing my mask, not wearing anything like that. Don't really want to get recognized because I'm pretty sure I've robbed this dealership like nine times or something like that. But there is the P1. So that is what we're going for. I could steal the Jesco, though. That is that. You know what? Nope. I don't care if it's worth more. This is the car on the list. So let's try to get the dealership workers attention. You got a couple customers in here. It looks like some nice cars, dude. Hello, gentlemen. How are we doing? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. How can I help you? Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Just uh, I just getting a text, dude. The dealership guy is the one that I stole all of his cars in the superhero video, and he absolutely hates me. Like this guy hates my guts. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry about that, sir. That's pretty rude of me. My apologies. Listen, um, I know I just pulled up in that little rust bucket right there, but I'm a serious buyer. I want to look at some of these cars. I'm thinking maybe we go with the Macan or the Urus, looking for maybe a nice little SUV. If you just, you know, take a look, maybe show me around. You know, I don't want to be rude, but you can't really like afford these. I can't afford them. Sir, do you see the watch? You see the you see what's on my wrist here? This is not from Timu. All right. This is real. Do you see the suit? This is Italian. Italian? Okay, cool, bro. Like, look at my sneakers, all right? $2,000 sneakers, limited edition. This watch costs more than this entire dealership. So how about you cut the rudeness and, and show me around, all right? How about that? All right, first of all, what's your name? My name, sir, is Timothy. Yes. Tim yeah, Timothy, what's up? You're the guy that... Oh, it's you. What's me? Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay, sir? It's the guy that robbed my dealership. No, 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 no it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It is not. We can talk about this. Stop. Listen, I don't know who's talking. Stop. Listen. Okay, calm down. What do you mean? Uh, listen. I had to sell my dealership to come work here. No. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen. Calm down. Chill. Do you know how much debt I'm in? I'm not. What is this guy doing? I'm not who you think I am. I'm not who you think I am. We can talk about it. Let's just go. Let's hop on the sidewalk. It's all good. It's fine. You're the guy. No, I'm what guy? You did the superheroes. That's you. What superheroes? What superheroes? Are you sure you have the right? I... Listen, sir, I am new to the city. All right, that's why I'm driving around the junker. It's just I'm borrowing it. I'm from. Uh... No. I'm from Vice. Yeah, I'm from Vice City. I got here two days ago. Uh, I just chased you out of the, the all right, gentlemen, cafe. Calm down. What cafe? What are you talking about? Hey, officer, how's it going? Like sir, uh, yesterday. Hey, uh, sir in the suit? Yeah, this guy's right. tripping. This guy's tripping. Hey, man, this is the guy who robbed my dealership. I didn't rob yeah. anything. Are you discriminating yeah, against me? Very well aware about it. How would I? I'm going to go. It's him. Hey, it's, I'm going to look around inside. I'm going to look around like. Right, no. Go um, Stop. How can you not go all in right, all right, all right, all right. Can we talk? Because officers, I want to press charges. This guy screamed in my face and uh, hurt my feelings. There's no charge you're gonna press because uh, you hurt my feelings when you stole two million dollars worth of cars. I had to go in debt. All right, listen, what's going on here? I'm feeling flustered. All right, this guy just screamed at me and, and scared me. So I just want to know, sir, like I, I promise you, I'm not who you think I am. So we'll go in, I'll buy a car from you cash. How about I buy that Urus, super nice, and we call it even? I'll tell you what, give me a hundred. You're not gonna buy anything right today, now. pal. What do you mean I'm not buying anything today? Oh, very well, who you are. Who, okay, who am I? Because my name's Timothy. Nice to meet you. 
exactly what the warrant says. I knew it. The warrant? <laughs> no, listen, warrant everybody, don't move, don't move. I will, I will, I will blow your head off. I will blow your head off. All right, it's me, Greg. Whoa, okay, whoa, it's me, Greg. Whoa. You're doing this again? Yeah, listen, I was Batman, I was the Flash, I was Spider-Man, I was Deadpool, I was everywhere. Hey, 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 don't, don't move. Ow. I will shoot, I will shoot you dead. God, ow, that hurts so bad. Come here. Ow. Come here. Oh, that hurts. Listen, everyone back up. You're coming with me. Let's go, inside, inside. Shut up. This time, I, I promise I'm not stealing a single car from your dealership, sir. I'm not stealing a single one of your stock. Are you just here to be mean to me? No, I'm stealing your personal car, sir. You're going to give me keys to this. Let's no. go right now. No. You have five seconds. I will blow your head off. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Do you just hate me? I don't hate you. Your name is on a list. I don't even know you own this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, give me keys. Let's go. Officers, don't move, please. Listen, it's no big deal, you know? Like, you have insurance, right? Like, I'm just going to make a quick 1.5 mil off of your vehicle. No, I don't have insurance because last time, everything got stolen. <laughs> That's a you problem. They That's won't a you problem. Give me a That's deal. a you problem. All right, listen. Let's stop talking. The sooner you give me keys, the sooner you'll never see me again. There, take it, take it. I'm going to find where you live, and I'm going to come in your house. I'll tell you where I live. I live at the reservoir, all right? Because I'm a millionaire. That's why. Yeah, you heard me i'm gonna come in his house i'm gonna go to your house all right listen i'm, I'm gonna take have everything. a nice day officers have a nice day That's, you're kicking yeah. your own car bro oh okay we're listen don't put spike strips down i don't Whoa. like spike strips Shoot. i'm gonna go out the front door hey Do your don't job. hit me don't freaking hit me all right, the spike strips, the spike strips wet. I had to wait for the spike strips, bro. I had to wait, wait for the spike strips. We're going. That was almost really bad. I was trying to shoot my tires out, bro. That was really risky. All right, we got a couple cops. I think I still have all of my tires, which is good. But we have got to escape the cops. We are going. We are freaking going. That guy, I would feel bad. I would feel bad. But he's crashing out every time he sees me. And if you let another man have that effect on you... That's not my fault. Not my fault at all. So let's come down here. We have got to escape these cops, but bro, they are whipping it to catch me. Dude, I'm so happy that I waited. I was just going to full gun it, and then I saw them put the spike strips down. It was a smart move on them. I was going to try to move out the front door, but it was not quite wide enough. But we're good, you know? As long as the cops don't shoot at me or shoot my tires out, we have a good chance of escaping because the second we lose some tires, it makes it like 50% more difficult to lose them sometimes it's near impossible all right we're gonna head down here there are a ton of freaking cops on me right now but we are in a mclaren you know so as long as we what the heck bro <laughs> what are these cops doing oh my god i okay i'm gonna be honest i feel a little bit bad for the dealership worker just because i robbed him so bad in the uh, in the superhero video he had to sell his dealership and buy a new one but you know if he's on the billionaire's car list it means uh he's probably a billionaire so you know he's doing okay he has a mclaren it's all good let's head up onto the highway i'm gonna see if i could just try to outrun these cops we got a tahoe behind us it's not ideal but uh, you know it's better than like having a mustang or something yeah so we're on the bridge we are gaining a lot of speed on the cops we're getting some good distance between us i was gonna try to hit a jump but to be honest with you this video is going really really good so far i don't really want to hit a jump and mess up and then uh you know crash and die in a fiery accident almost like that but it's fine this guy is quick though dude oh my god what is he doing he's so quick oh oh my god okay actually i have an idea i have an idea can we get up here can we get up here? i think we can nah never i was gonna try to hop up on the edge but Oh my god. Oh my goodness. All right. That's not good. Game face on. Game face on. This car is. Oh, don't pit me. Don't pit me. It's expensive. An expensive vehicle. Let's just move down this way. Continue and continuing. All right. Let's get on the highway and let's just try to gun it from here. I think straight line speeds is this thing's best friend. So we're going to come up here like this. Here we go. We're going to cut down. Try to mess them up. There we go. We're messing up a couple of them. We're messing some of them up. Dude, my, I'm going so fast. My textures are starting to go out. We're going to come up on here onto the exit ramp like this. Got to cross. And you know what? Let's go up to Sandy Shores. We'll go up to Sandy Shores. Get out of the city. All right. I think we are good. So I'm going to slow down a little bit before I crash and die. But ladies and gentlemen, that is car number three successfully stolen. And uh, I think I have a lifetime enemy. I think that guy hates my guts and I don't think he's ever going to get over it. But who cares? We got his cars. So I'm going to stab it up and we're gonna go and try to steal car number four okay we are down here at the beach for car number four all i know about this car is that it's owned by an 
influencer. Don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's like TikTok or Instagram or something like that. So I'm just going to drive around and see if we can't find something that looks like it would be a nice car. I don't have a whole lot of information on this other than it's owned by an influencer and it's at the beach. I'm not seeing anything either, though. So I'm just going to drive around. Maybe it's over here at the end of the dock. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. It could have left. It's a possibility, but maybe it's on the actual beach, too, because there is a parking lot down here. All right, let's check the parking lot because there's nothing on the pier. Let's see. And the parking lot's empty. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure we can track it down. I am sure we can track it down. All right, let's see. Uh, this car's over here. Oh, okay. You know what? I think I see it. So let me let me come over here and let me just make sure. Let me confirm. But there is a car over there on that ramp, and I see some people standing around it. Yeah, okay. We have an off-road Bugatti and a security guard, and then we also... Okay, I'm assuming that's the influencer. That would make sense. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to distract the guard. I kind of want to do what I did with the valet with the first one or the second one and then kind of just repeat it on this one this actually could be pretty good i'm basically just gonna be like oh my god i'm such a big fan oh my god and then see what we go from there this thing is super nice though dude look at that that is insane oh my god <laughs> That thing is crazy. I know why they have a guard, though, dude. That makes sense. That thing is probably super expensive. Oh, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Back hey, no sir. pictures, no pictures. You're the no, no I don't, I'm not taking pictures. You're the guy from uh from TikTok, right? Yeah. yeah so what? Don't, don't get too close. Here, Come on, can, can we take a, a bit too close? Can I just like meet you, please? Like no pictures allowed. I'm not taking a picture. Hey, I'm busy right now, dude. Busy? What? You're. Did you not see that I'm busy? You're laying down. You're not busy. Back up. Back yeah, up, sir. Yeah, relax. Nah, come on. Right. Let's like, hop up. Let's take a photo. Hey, get out of here. Jeez, oh, okay. Come on, dude. Like, just back come up, on. Did I up, stutter? Sir. Go off, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, no need to be rude. I don't know my plan was there. Uh, I should have expected that. It is an influencer. <laughs> but you know what? Now I don't feel bad with stealing his freaking off-road Bugatti. I just need a way to lure this guy out of there, dude. I don't know how to do it. I could kill him. I could just kill him all. It is an option. I have a sniper. Uh, I, if I really wanted to, I could just absolutely murk every single one of them. All right, I'm just going to stalk him. I'm just going to see if maybe any of them move or if I can think of another way. Except I don't know why this guy has three security guards. There is no one else coming up to him. I don't know who he thinks he is, uh, but he cannot be that famous. All right, dude. This oh, he's moving. Does he see? Oh, he might see me. He might see me because I have just stood here. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna see where he goes. Maybe we can uh do what we did with the other guy and kill him and take his outfit because that actually could work. That could work super, super well. So let's just watch him see what he's doing. Okay, he's just going over there. Okay, let's get our pistol out and let's add a suppressor to it. Here we go. Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Okay, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Let's come up behind him. So let's not invade his privacy too much. Psst. Hey, buddy, turn around. Uh, what? Uh, you know, don't turn around. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope they didn't hear that. And I'm blocked. Okay. They can't really see me. I'm going to get this guy's outfit on really quick and then basically just walk over to the car, hop in it, and drive away. All right. I took his outfit. I don't look the same, but I don't think these guys are smart enough to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and I don't want to make it too suspicious. So I am just going to walk up here. There's some like ATVs and dirt bikes over there. I just noticed that. And we're going to we're going to hit a little little pose that he was doing. And we're just going to give it a second. You know, we're going to make it seem like I just had to go to the bathroom. I came back and, and here we go. You know what? I need keys to this. I just remembered. I... <laughs> Okay, this is going to be really stupid. I'm going to tell him that uh, it's time for him to film his uh, his sponsored TikTok and that we just need to grab the ring light from the car. <laughs> and then he's going to give me the keys. I'll just hop in and drive away. I think that's probably the best bet. So let's give it a go. All right, how's it going there, sir? How's it going? Pretty good. Going good. How's your day? Listen, uh, sorry to interrupt your son, Bailey. I know you're very busy, but you have that sponsored TikTok you have to record, but you left the, you left the ring light in the car. So I just need keys to that really quick. Oh, all right, great. Give them keys. All right, thank you. Thank you very much sir i got those uh and sir just remember this time you have to follow what they sent in the document you can't just trash this company See? they're they're hey, paying you a go i know what i'm doing all right i've been an influencer i know but last time they said that you called the company trash in the tiktok so you, you can't well they could off all right all right i got it I got all right it. all right telling me what to do all right sorry sir i'm so sorry this guy is an absolute piece of work but you know what? let's come over here oh i guess he's going he's going for a little swim which is perfect so we're gonna hop in the car. There we go. And we're driving off. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, they're running. They're running. Hit them. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna hit him. I was gonna, but here we go, dude. We got the off-road Bugatti. All right, dude. Oh, they're chasing me. Yeah, they're chasing me. I should have expected that. The second I saw the ATVs, I was like, yeah, they're gonna follow me. It's all good. It's all good. This thing is not very fast, though. This thing is not fast at all, but we are an absolute beast. Like, look at this. I'm just ruined everyone's freaking beach day, dude. Oh, and he's chasing me with the floaty. He's chasing me with the floaty. All right, I got to get on, on an actual road because this thing is so slow. Listen, listen, dude. I'm not even a security guard. I look completely different from the other guy. How did you not notice that? Oh, my. Are you stupid? Oh, what the hell? Are you stupid? Hey, did you just call me stupid? Dude? I did just call you stupid. You don't know who I am, dude, but I'm going to Nobody knows you. who you are. You're irrelevant. You're irrelevant. All right, dude. Influencers, man. Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm not an influencer for the record. I don't influence. I just make GTA 5 RP videos. I'm not an influencer. I just want that on the record there. All right. He's still chasing me with his little floaty. That's cute, you know? Very cute. He could, uh, you know, maybe float to float to work when he gets a real job. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's just try to lose these guys. Uh, I was going to say, you know what? You know, we have an off-road jet ski. Not an off-road jet ski. An off-road Bugatti. Hey, give me my car back. No, this is my car now, sir. This is my car now. What I was going to say is we could probably just uh, hit off-road to lose them, but they're all on ATVs and dirt bikes. So I think what I'm going to have to do is just take them out, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh, no, dude. I put my gun in the garage, and I never picked it back up. Okay. You know what? It's fine. We got a pistol still, so we're good. We are good. I don't know where the other guys went, though. We just got one on us now. We just got one. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to shoot him. On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to move through here. I don't know where the other ones went. They might have crashed. So we'll just come down here. Shot the one guy. Feel a little bad. But he is working for a really not nice person. So it's okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. You know what? This is a great spot to hide it. Kind of. Actually, no. Let's continue with that a little bit. Make sure we lost him first. But all right. I, f I don't have any remorse for that. I feel good about stealing that guy's car. He was very, very, very rude to me. He said two very naughty words and it hurt my feelings. But guys, that is car number four, five, something like that. I don't even know anymore. But we got the off-road Bugatti successfully stolen. Let's just go ahead and park it here in this parking garage. And we will call that a win. Dude, this thing is pretty nice, though. I'm going to use this in a future video, I think, because it is very, very, very cool. I had to kill... Ooh. I don't think he saw that. All right, we're good. We're good. So let's just go the opposite direction. I'm going to get my outfit switched up, and we're going to go on and try to steal the next car on the list. All right, the next car on the list is apparently owned by a rapper over here in gang territory. So I'm just going to swing by and see what is up. Apparently, it's right down here. Yeah, okay, here they are. I was told they're filming a music video, so this could actually work out pretty well. Some security guards, some gang members, obviously. Looks like a couple of background dancers, too. Okay, I think I have a plan. Because uh, I saw a cameraman there, and I think I just want to kind of weasel my way inside of the group to see if I can't do something. Okay, I changed up the color of my car, and I got into, like, a Bala's outfit. I think what I'm going to do is basically do, like, a drive-by shooting on the gang members, and then try to kill the cameraman so I can come back later as his replacement to get closer to the group. So, you know, let's not even waste any time. Let's just head over here and go ahead and do it. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they shot my engine. They shot. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. All right, dude. We got to go. We got to go. They're shooting at me. We're booking it back to Grove Street, dude. Booking it back to Grove Street. Oh, my God. Okay, I got hit, but I'm good. I am freaking good. Uh, so what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to go switch out my outfit, grab a camera, and head back there and be like, hey, do you guys need a, a cameraman? Like, I heard you guys didn't have a cameraman anymore. They are still shooting on the car, dude. I am long gone. And then I'm going to basically, you know, gain access to the group and we can steal the car. All right, I got a new outfit and I got a camera as well. I'm just going to basically go over here and ask, be like, hey, heard you guys' cameraman is in the hospital. You know, I, I have a camera. I can be your, your new guy. Yeah. Okay. You know, this is good. This is good. Hey. What's up? Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I'm from the neighborhood, you know, and I, I heard that your guys' cameraman just got sent to the hospital yeah we need a new one yeah that, well hey good for you that's why i'm here i have a camera actually oh you do okay well, yeah i can be camera. your guy uh let's set up for the picture you yeah, sure about this bad. guy boss and listen I, I i have credentials you know uh, i trust you i've repped the colors you know all right so uh everybody let's go ahead and, and line up 
I'm just gonna head line up and uh, start dancing, you know, lip sync and everything like that. Hey, guy in the back, is that gun unloaded? It is. That's surprising, but good. All right, let's just, uh, yeah, keep on dancing. Very good. All right, right. Yeah, guys in the back, just look look mean. We'll add the music in and post. All right, and and I think I think we're good. All right, what now? Okay, thank you. Uh, we're gonna take a five minute break. While five minute break. Sets up. Yeah, for the next scene. Okay. All right, we'll set up for the next scene. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, boss, you got a sandwich? No. All right, don't talk much. I guess. All right. Hey, you you got a sandwich? No. Okay. All right. Never mind. Hey, it's a pretty nice car over here, huh? Yeah, thank you, man. It's, yeah, it's mine. You must be pretty pretty rich, huh? I guess you could say that, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. They're super nice, dude. Super freaking nice. Yeah, it is a nice car, huh? Yeah, it is a nice car. Listen, if you just want to go over, you know, take a five-minute break, you put your gun away, you know, relax. It's all good. It's all good. We'll just hang out for a few minutes while, while we get set up for the next shot, all right? Yeah, I'll hang out here. No, nah, why don't you go hang out with the other guys? You know, like, don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Why don't you go hang out over there? I don't really want to. Like, I kind of really like this. Why do you want to be a coastal car? What do you mean? I don't know. It just looks like you want to be close to the car. Well, yeah, because it's not like, you know, everyone would want to be close to the car. Look at it. Yeah, we don't know you, though. I mean, this thing is so nice. Yo, listen, I'm the camera guy. Yeah, the new one. Yeah, the new one. All right, whatever. All right, dude, he's staking by the car, so I don't know what to do. So we're just going to walk away uh, for a little bit, you know? All right, looks like the guy wandered away, so we're going to come back. You know, I just, just wanted to wanted him to leave the area. Just act like we're on our phone, even though my phone is broken and I have no apps installed, you know? Be like, they're, they're just talking over there, and... And all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the side and we are going to try to hack into this thing. Yo. Hey, what's up? Hey, I was just looking. I was just looking. I was just looking at the car. Yeah, you were looking at the car? Yeah. You're way too close. Sorry, my bad. You know, my bad. You know, uh, we don't we don't need a camera anymore. Okay, well, of course you need a camera man. No, we don't. But listen, no, I, like I already. St you can leave. Oh, okay. You can leave. No, nah, listen, it's all good. It's all good. It's how about that? It's all good. Yeah, matter of fact, let me take you. No, 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 no. Listen, it, it, no problem. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, Oh! What's going on over here? Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Got him. Dude, there's so many gang members, bro. There's so many gang members. Dude, even the even the girls have the guns. Even the background dancers. Oh my god, I am I'm getting so so shot. Oh! I don't know where he's shooting. Alright, I'm up here. Right there, this freaking fence is in the way, bro. Dude, this is so bad, bro. This is so bad. Okay, got one. Oh! Got him. This guy right here, dude. Oh, headshot! I am so low. I am so low. Oh, they're not, they're not done. They're not done. They're not done. Dude, why is everyone coming for me, bro? Everyone's coming for me. I got to put more armor on. I'm about to die. I'm actually about to die. Look at me. I am covered in bullets. All right, we're good. I don't know how we're not dead yet. I don't have any med kits either. Let's pull this back. Let's make sure we're good, though, dude. Let's make sure we're good. Dude, every single one of them just came from my throat, dude. Oh, my God. Especially this guy. You know, screw this guy. Is there anyone left? <laughs> There's no one left. There's no one left. But you know what? I'm petty. I'm petty. They can have this for when they get out of the hospital. There we go. Okay, took me a minute, but we're good. We blew that up, which means all we got to do, come over here, hack into the car. I don't think the cops are going to be coming down here, to be honest with you. I don't think the cops like responding to gang stuff because they always get shot, which is valid. But we're looking for HM E9. HM E9. Here we go. Found it right here. Vehicle unlocked. So we're going to hop in. That was insanely close. There was like three times I thought I was for sure going to die. But dude, here we go. Car number five successfully stolen after a very risky operation. But you know, obviously this car is worth about $850,000. So we are already up very, very big in this video. So all we got to do now is stash and go on to car number six on the list. All right, we're over here at the movie studio. The car that I am going to be trying to steal is like the feature car of a movie that 
they're filming called Speed and Anger. So I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm in like just a weird disguise. Someone that looks like they could belong in the movie set. I see the Batmobile. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to scope it on out. Apparently, it's like a green muscle car. I think I see it. I could pretend to be like the main actor or like a producer or something like that. That could actually work. So we got Batman and Ant-Man over there. We have the bat. Like, dude, what kind of movie is this? All right. You know what? I think the guy leading on the car is probably the lead actor. There's bombs on the car. Bro, what is this movie? What is going on? I don't understand. You know what? Who cares? All right. So I'm going to dress up like the guy leaning against the car, and I'm going to say I'm his stunt double. And then all we got to do is, you know, say, hey, let's film a stunt sequence. All right. There's a helicopter right there. So that's probably part of the filming. Right, there's a guard here. It's AI, but you know, who cares? <laughs> Let's go into the, the trailer and dress up like the guy we saw. All right. I put a helmet on too, just because I don't actually look like the guy. So if I want to pass off as a stunt double, you know, we'll just have a helmet. But I'm pretty sure stunt people wear helmets in real life. You know, they got to protect their head. So let's just see if we can go in and try to film. I think I match the outfit pretty well. Like, I think I look identical, to be honest. It's pretty simple, though. Hey, what's going on, guys? Not much. I'm getting ready to do the shoot. Are we filming? a stunt sequence today is that what we're doing i think that's what we're doing all right how you doing good how about you i'm good i'm, I'm your stunt double for today by the way all right name's greg nice to meet you nice to meet you what's your name uh joama joama yes oh, joe mama <laughs> sorry Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. All right. Just, uh, is there like a radio for the sequence? Yeah, there should be. It should be in the car. 100. 100? Okay. All right. Yeah. And there one also set up in the car for him to use? Uh, stuntman is ready to go. I got the helmet on, by the way. I know I don't look exactly like him, but best stunt driver there is. I'll throw the mask down. You guys edit it out and post and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Just let me know when you guys are ready to shoot. So what are we doing here? I see there's bombs on the car, like on those cars. Are we blowing them up? Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's just a chase. Ant-Man and Batman are going to be chasing you. Okay. And then uh, once you give me the checkpoint signal, I'm gonna I'm gonna remotely blow up the cars. Okay, and then then we just cut, come back, and then film the rest of the scene in the, the sound sound stage or whatever. Yep. All right, very cool. I'm just gonna check out the sound stage. I'm gonna see what's going on up here. All right. Yeah. Just uh, tell me on radio when we're ready to go. Hello, Batman. Hello, Ant Man. These guys are from different cinematic universes, so I don't know what's going on. All right, we're at the movie set. This is a serious production. I think I understand what's going on. It's a pretty cool. Hey, uh, we're, all... we're good. We're ready. Everyone, yeah, everyone, uh, you know. Okay, are we filming with the helicopter? Is that what I saw? Yeah, that's the camera. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we're gonna come down here. We are ready. We're filming a movie. I'm gonna slam down my visor. All right, guys, I'm gonna hop in the car. We are ready to go. All right, we are in the car. Helicopter, you ready? Helicopter ready. Okay, and a director, just tell us when you want us to to action or whatever. All right, I'll just do a three second now. Three, two. One, go. All right, we're coming like this. They're going to be chasing me, I think. And then I don't know. He said the checkpoint. I don't know where the checkpoint's supposed to be, though. So we're going on the road. I think the helicopter is up there filming. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, helicopter's filming from up there. All right, come on the road. All right, we're at the checkpoint. Detonate. All right, detonate now. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, Ant-Man's exploded. Ant-Man's exploded. Okay, cut now. Cut. All right, cut. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's yeah, head back, back to the head back to the the area. All right, I guess Ant Man blew up. Uh, so what I guess I'm gonna do is everyone's gonna come back here, and I'm just not gonna return the car. That seems like the easiest scenario here. Uh, Batman is still on me though, so I uh, you know he's an actor, but <laughs> you never know, dude. Batman might flip on me and turn me into you know goo. Hey, thanks for the car, by the way. And we just come over here. What? Open the radio and then turn it off. Uh, I did go on radio and I told him thanks for the car. So I think they know I stole it, but I can't help to brag. I also hear cop sirens. So let's try to just get out of the area before they catch on. Oh yeah. Okay. There's a cop behind me already. It's all good though, dude. We got the movie muscle car. That actually worked out really good. I've never done anything like that before. I'm a big fan of like pretending to be other people. I think we get more RP in. I think it's a lot better for the videos. If you guys like these plans that I've been doing, let me know in the comments down below. I think it's super, super good. Now we just got to lose a couple of these cops and we will be home free so here we go come down here there we go recover we are fine that cop did not do that nicely that was not smooth i actually like this car a lot this thing handles really nicely it also sounds super super sick so let's just continue to juke out the cops no no that is so bad that is so bad all right that is not good over nope not pulling over hey 
This thing's expensive. All right, you come out of here. They are still following me, dude. We have got to lose them. We have got to lose them. Bro, he's sticking to me. The Mustang's gonna be a problem. All right, this Mustang's gonna be a problem, dude. Not entirely sure how I want to play this. I think I can probably just outdrive him. I think uh, I have a good chance. This thing is decently fast. You know, muscle car versus muscle car. Old gen versus new gen. We are good. We will be able to lose them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm down here. Oh no, big crash. We're good, we're good. Oh my God, one of the cars flipped. I think he's out of commission. Oh my God, and I'm gonna be out of commission here in a second. But yeah, okay, we're down to two cops. We are down to two cops. Let's get our pistol out. We could shoot the tires out on those things. I actually love this thing. I was thinking about selling it because I'm not I'm not a big classic muscle car kind of guy, but I love this thing. I love how it drives. So let's head up here. My roads are melting, dude. I gotta fix my graphics at some point. I gotta fix them. Just try to lose them through these uh these turny areas and stuff like that. We'll come up here. Hit down this. We're good, we're good. Try to juke them out. Alright, now we're going back up past the reservoir. Here we go. Like this. Just don't spin out. Dude, that's all that's all I gotta do is not spin out. You know, let's hit this thing. We're from a movie. We'll hit this thing. Here we go. Oh boy! Okay, actually, clean landing. Super, super clean landing. I don't think any of them are on me anymore, so let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Here we go. Okay. Not meant for off-road. Not meant for off-road at all. Honestly, I was a big fan of filming that movie. I kind of wanted to stick with that, you know? But video comes first. We got to hit the, uh, you know, we got to hit the thing in, in, or whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. All right, there we go. I don't even know what I was saying. I kind of distracted. But what I was trying to say is uh, as much as I would love to become an actor and film a movie, the video comes first and we have got to steal these billionaire cars because this thing is, uh, it, it probably will be worth a lot of money, you know, once I fix it up. But I'm going to stash it, make sure the cops won't find my location anytime soon. And I think we have one car left to steal on the list. All right, we are coming up here. I have no texture. So you know what? I think we're just park it in the in like one of these parking lots because I can't see anything. There we go. No one should find this for now. We will fix this up later. But oh my goodness. I had a lot of fun with that one. I really enjoyed that. So what I'm going to do is we have one car left to steal today. I'm going to get it switched up. This one is probably going to be pretty tricky. So I think it's probably best if we just get it over with. All right. The last car of the day is owned by a military general and it is currently at the military base. So I went ahead and got a military Jeep and I got the outfit that they wear on the server. So the plan for this, I'm just going to go in and try to infiltrate the base, you know, see what's up, gain access to the car and then whenever I can, I can steal it. I have a feeling it's going to be guarded just to some extent because it is the army base. Uh, so I also have a plan B in mind if it's possible, but we will approach that when I get to it. I look legit. Like this is straight up the full outfit that they wear. I had to get like the numbers for it so I could match it identical, but I think it looks super, super good. I think they're not going to, you know, they're not going to be suspicious because I, I don't look scuffed. I'm wearing exactly what they are wearing in the military. I don't know about the car though. This is kind of like, I don't know if they use this, but I, it's just kind of the only thing I have in mind. So, I, you know, whatever. I, I hope it works. But here we are. We're going to approach the entrance of the military base. And we're going to see if this plan is going to work. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to find a way to actually, like, break into the base. Which is a lot more difficult than just going into the front entrance. All right. Here we go. Oh, there's a guy here. Hey. Go through. I'm all good? Yeah, I go through. Have a good day. Right, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. That was easy enough. <laughs> That was easy enough. All right, I'm looking for a military general car. Apparently, it is a green Dodge Challenger. So let's go through here. I'm just going to drive around a little bit, see if I can't spot it. We're over here by the barracks. I don't know where it would be. Like, where would a general park his car? There's like a command post over there that it could be at. It's not over here. Let's see. I'm not seeing a whole lot of planes. I saw some tanks and stuff. A helicopter, fighter jets. I'm not seeing it. It's probably over here, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. These are tank treads. Oh, here it is. Okay. We got a bunch of guards there. There's the challenger. That would make sense. That's like the command post, I think. A guy here. And we have a ton of tanks just parked up. Okay. You know what? That was plan B. Plan B was to steal some tanks. So that is a good possibility that we could kind of do that and take out these guards that are here. I want to see if my, uh, my suspicions are correct. Because if there's tank treads, there's probably a tank that's driving around. 
Oh yeah, and that's gonna complicate things quite a bit because that thing will just blow me up. I guarantee it. You know what? Let, let's let's plan on that. Let's see if we can steal a tank. But I'm gonna talk to these guys first and see if you know everything is all good. All right. I'm not wearing a helmet. I I, I kind of feel like this makes me seem like a higher rank in a way. Hey, how's it going there, soldier? Pretty good, pretty good. What about you? Hey, I'm just. Uh, the, that's the general's car, right? Right there. Yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah. Is he in? Is he in today? Uh, I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. All right. Well. No. If you see him, uh, let him know that uh, Captain Timothy is looking for him. Ten four will do. All right. Thank you, soldier. All right. He's not in, but his car is there, so that's that's good to know. That's good to know. Cargo bob up there. That's AI generated. But I need to steal a tank, and I have a feeling this guy is not gonna let me in without credentials. So I'm just gonna take him out. Here we go. I don't think he saw that. Oh, he was facing the other direction. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't know where his body went. I was going to move his body, but yeah, I don't know where he is. <laughs> no problem for me. No problem for me. I'm going to steal one of these tanks. We have plenty of options. This one looks like it's a little floppy. Let's go with this one. This one looks nice. So let's hop in if we can. There we go. This helicopter's starting to bug me, but it's fine. Honestly, I'm just full out blow people up. That's the goal. All right, here we go. Got to blow these guys up. One, two, three. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Blow him up. All right, we got a guy here. I don't want to blow up the car. Blow him up. Same with this guy. Blow him up. And then where's that tank, dude? I don't want to steal the car until I take care of the tank. All right, I'm looking for it, dude. Oh, here's the tank. Boom. Need to get more direct hits on him than he gets on me. All right. I'm missing. He's... Oh, boy. There we go. There we go. I got him. I got him. All right. I think that's everyone that we need to kill to steal this thing. Uh, you know, let me make sure this, this is clear in here. There we go. I, I think we cleared that out. So I'm going to hop out of the tank and then we're going to come this way. Hop in here, turn it on and drive away in the general's car. This thing is super, super nice, dude. All right. We're going to leave out the front gate. The guard is going to be here, but... Let's continue on through. It did, yeah, he's, yeah, he's shooting at me. All you want, buddy. This thing is an armored challenger. Not going to do much to me. But, dude, oh, my God. That was actually not as difficult as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be way, way harder. These cursed cars are destroyed. But if I can repair them, I'm going to make millions. But there's one problem. The cars are spread out all over the city from a junkyard all the way to this mansion. Am I going to be able to repair all of the cars? Watch until the end to find out. All right, so the first cursed car we're going to be trying to steal today is over here at the junkyard in Sandy Shores. Apparently, I am looking for a school bus. That's all the information I was given is that it is a school bus. We have a couple cursed school buses in the server, so it could be any one of them. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of drive up and say I'm here to collect like a different car. And then all I have to do is, you know, take the one I'm not supposed to take and drive out of there so here we are at the junkyard let's yeah okay yeah there is guards here i was wondering if there was going to be uh let's talk to them Boy, stop there, mate. hey what's up man i'm here to pick up a uh i was a burnt subaru and bring it to the shop uh in sandy no 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 there's no subarus in here mate you got the wrong place no no no. it's a it's a black subi uh wrx no 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 i'm telling you now you're not getting in there so you can disappear oh he ain't coming back Okay, you know what? I'm just I'm just here to do my job, so I don't really want any of that business. Um. Yeah, no, mate. This is a restricted area. You come back here, we will have to shoot you, all right? Oh, okay. All right. Have a nice day. Oh, fuck oh so hell. sorry about that. Please don't kill me. Okay, dude. Talk about rude. I'm just a guy trying to do my job, bro. I'm just a guy trying to do my job. Uh, he did say if I come back, he's gonna kill me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go that way, and I am not gonna go with that plan. But there's a couple other entrances. As I was talking to them, I noticed a guard walking around the side, so I don't think that's a good direction either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stash the tow truck down the road, and I'm gonna hope that the cursed car at least turns on so I can drive it just down here to where I can put it on the tow truck and bring it to the shop after I steal it. That's kind of the best plan, I think. So let me go ahead and stash it behind here. Okay, I stashed the tow truck over by the hardware store, and I am sneaking up right now i was gonna go to that entrance but i don't know if you guys can tell there is a guard just walking in circles there so that is not really what i want to do let me pull my pistol out and let's add a suppressor to it that way if i have to take out a guard we can do it as quiet as possible sneaking up here in a blue hoodie not the most camouflage outfit i own all right not the best but i don't think he's really paying much attention he's kind of walking in circles like a mindless npc but i think you can hop over some of these walls so let me try to do it over here I think we're out of sight by now hop over oh yeah i can okay great 
I am looking for a school bus. I can't see one here. I also can't see any guard. Oh, I see smoke. That could be our target. That could be our target. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what is that, bro? This thing is ridiculous. All right. Is there any guard standing by the car? I don't know. I'm going to move around here and make sure it's all clear before I go and try to steal it. I'm hoping it can turn on. I mean, it's not exploded or anything like that. Ooh, there's a guard there. Okay. I mean, that's why we have the suppressor, right, guys? We can kind of just take him out if I have to. Nope, no angle there. We have to go around the side. We'll come around this way, shoot him in the head really quickly, hop in the bus, and then drive away. Here we go. Three, two, one. He's down. I don't think anybody saw that. Anybody heard that? So here we go. I'm hoping it's unlocked. It should be. There we go. Perfect, dude. Oh, it's having trouble turning on. It's having trouble turning on. There we go. We're putting our seatbelt on this thing. It does drive. Oh, boy. Oh, pop the tire. Oh, pop the tire. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Tires are popped. Bro. I don't need to go far. I don't need to go far. I just need to escape. All right, uh, I think I'm out of their sight line because they stopped shooting at me. Bro, this thing is destroyed. It still barely drives, but oh my God, dude. It is like it's on ice skates with no tires. This thing is ridiculous. I hope it fits on the tow truck. And this is why I didn't want to bring it very far because this thing is barely moving. Oh my goodness. So here we go. Let's, uh, hopefully it fits. This might be a little big. I might need to get a different tow truck. Let's try. I think it's longer. I think it might be longer than the tow truck itself, let alone the bed. Let's see. All right. I mean, it fits. It fits. I mean, there's definitely some room to pull it up. I don't know what's going on there, but we got the cursed school bus, which means all I got to do is bring it down to the mechanic shop. We could fix it up and then we will have a brand new cursed car to add to our collection to do whatever you want with it. All right. We're going to bring it down to the gas station where we have a little bit of a service area and I'm going to try to see if we can't salvage this bus. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use one of our repair kits. We're going to repair the engine, put some new tires on it, and then we should be good to go. Oh, my God. I was just moving my tow truck out of the way. Really? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I was just moving the tow truck out of the way, dude. I just repaired it. Oh my God. We got a couple more tires to do though. All right. After that little mishap, we are done with the last tire, which means our cursed school bus is basically brand spanking new. So I want to see what we can do with this thing because this thing looks absolutely insane. Let me find a car. I think this one over here should do. Let's see what the school bus can do. And oh, oh my God. Dude, this thing is a beast, but I think I know why it was destroyed. Because, uh, I mean, it's just taking hit after hit after hit. Dude, this thing is insane. But we're going to leave it here. We're going to come back for it later so we can add it to our garage. But I still have multiple other cursed cars that I have to steal and repair today. And the next one is over in the city. So I'm going to head down there right now. And we're going to see what we have to steal. Because I have a picture of this one. And it doesn't look very cursed. All right. But let's see. All right, we are back in the city and i am on my way to find the next cursed car all i know about this is that it's a taco truck and two being guarded by a gang not sure what makes a taco truck cursed i can't see anything about it in the picture that i got but it should be right up here according uh the little blip area that i have and yeah definitely looks like there's some gang activity going on here a couple people outside working on the cars and i think I think I saw the taco truck. I think I don't really want to swing back around because that would be kind of suspicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get on one of these buildings and see if I can't scope it out a little bit better with some binoculars. This building probably has a ladder somewhere. Yeah, it does right here. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and scope it out. We're going to climb all the way up to the top. I'm not messing around here either because these gangs, they shoot to kill. You know, the cops, they'll give you a couple of chances. These guys are, you know, I don't know what gang it is. It looked like the Vagos, but dude, they they are they're vicious <laughs> they are vicious let's come up all the way here and all right i can't get a vantage point inside of the mechanic shop but it's in there you know I, i'm pretty sure i saw it i have a sniper right here i was gonna try to talk to them but there's just no way they're gonna let me in so it's not even worth the time i'm just gonna take these two guys out and then move through the mechanic shop take out anybody else that's in there and then take the car and leave this guy is busy, so I think this guy would be the first person to react. So I'm going to take him out first, and then we're going to go for this guy, assuming I can hit my shots properly. So on the count of three, we are going to go for it. One, two, three. He's down. Move here. 
He's down too. There we go. Now let's get off of the roof really, really quickly. Ow. All right, there we go. Hop down even farther. And then we're going to go move through, take out the rest of the gang, take the car that is rightfully ours. Not really, but I'm going to say that anyways. All right, two guys here. They're... Oh! That guy didn't even spot me. That guy did not even spot me. Hang on. There's a guy over here. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. None of us can aim. Is there any more? I got one. That's four. Oh! Okay, there was one more. Uh, hopefully, this is not a sixth. He almost killed me, but he's dead now. He is dead now. And this is the taco truck. Oh! Quiet. I'm not sure what makes this a cursed car. I'm going to be honest. It better fly, dude. It better freaking fly. Because, okay. All right. Now I get it. We got a rocket boosted taco truck. All right. You know what? I'm just done asking questions. I should expect stuff like this at this point. Lucky for me, there's no door on it. So I can just hop in, use our lock pick, turn it on, and drive away. This thing is functional. I'm kind of happy, you know, because again, not sure how I'm going to get a tow truck through here. Lucky for me, there's also a mechanic shop right over here in Mirror park there goes the marketing sign off the top let's get this thing fixed up so we can see what it can do all right and there we go taco truck is fully functional and it looks a hell of a lot better so now we can see what is up with this thing and there should be a jump right here that we can hit to show off the boosters let's see what the taco truck can do oh okay it's good this thing is good <laughs> Again, another car that I could very easily see why it was broken. But you know what? As long as we don't damage it too badly while testing it, we can use this for future videos as well. That's why I love these videos because we're stealing cars. I get content out of that. I'm like I could easily use this in a robbing banks video and get away from the cops super, super quickly. But okay, maybe not because... Okay, yeah, this car was definitely broken for a reason. We, we recovered it, though. But that is car number two successfully stolen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stash it, you know, add it to my garage, and then go on to car number three. And we're going to see how much money we can possibly make in this video because there's no way this car is worth, like, under 400K just with the massive jet boosters on the back of it. All right, I'm on my way to the next car, which is over here at the construction site in the city. I decided to just go straight away with a disguise and try to gain access to the area where I can then find the car steal it and drive away hopefully without too much trouble so i got a van here i'm you know in my little disguise with the mustache and we're just gonna go in and try to talk our way in the man with the clipboard at the front hey what's going on buddy hey what's going on hey i'm here i'm the inspector here to test the uh the cranes make sure that they're all secure Okay, well, uh, you're not expected for another two weeks. No, yeah, I'm just, it's a surprise inspection, you know? Like, uh, make sure you guys are following the regulations. Okay, well, you're not actually needed. Why? Because we don't need an inspection for another two weeks. Okay, all right. Listen, buddy, I got to get in here one way or another, right? Like, I don't want to have to tell your boss, hey, they didn't let me in. You know, like this guy, he, the guy over there, he's working on the crane. How do I know he's not messing stuff up? It's not going to fall over on a residential building. Well, you see, he is working on the crane, obviously. All right, listen, I see you guys are behind schedule. Well, I'll come back in a week. All right. Schedule me for a week. Okay. All right. He's not letting me in. <laughs> He's not letting me in. All right. Whatever. You know what? It's fine. There's a couple other disguises I can use. I'll put on a little bit different of a voice and uh, we'll try another route. Because I think that's probably the best thing to do is just kind of gain access because there's going to be so many people on the site where it's going to be really hard for me to sneak around without being spotted. So let me go grab some more stuff and I will be on my way back for try number two. All right. I got a cement mixer and a little bit different of an outfit. I think this is a lot smarter. I probably should have done this from the start i'm just gonna say hey buddy i have your cement here to deliver it he's gonna let me on in i'm gonna steal the car in our problem that's the plan at least <laughs> i don't really know i hope this works i think it will though this is a lot smarter and try number two and the guy is still hammering hey how's it going buddy hey you here with the concrete yeah i got your cement i right, just uh let me know where you want me to put it i right, just take it around back around oh. behind that crane over there which which around back which way o over that way okay behind the crane yeah all right you're gonna have to sign for it hang on actually you know what i'll get your supervisor to do it don't we don't even worry about it i got you i'll get him to do it okay all right thank you buddy 
All right, guy right there, he started welding. I am in though. I had a feeling that was gonna work. So we're just gonna bring it around here. Not sure where the uh, the car is, but you know, we're in, we are allowed to be here. I'm just gonna look around. What did this just say? Caution, erection in imminent. Tell me about it. Okay, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, I'm looking for the car. I don't see it. Let me check up maybe, it might be up. I see like a ramp down here. I have little information on this other than that it is at the construction site and it's cursed. I have an idea in my head of what it could be. There's a couple cars on the server that match that description, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not seeing anyone up here though, dude. It's like desolate. Okay, wait, there are some people here. Okay, I thought these were NPCs at first, but it does not look like it. And if that's what I think it is, that makes sense. We got the porta potty car, dude. All right, I should have known. Yeah, it's almost beer o'clock, boys. Oh, he's yelling. Hey, boss man. Hey, how can I help you? Hey, what's good? It's it's Ricky. Remember from the bar? Ricky from the bar. Oh, I might have been plastered, my friend. I might have been plastered. Okay. All right. Listen, listen. Uh, I just had the guy sign for the concrete downstairs, but there's a problem and the mixer is it's spilling out all over the place and we got to clean it up before the concrete hardens. Oh, fellas, did you hear that? We got to go downstairs now. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go. We got to go. Yeah, we'll get beer after. Okay. All right. That was incredibly easy to get them away from here, which gives me access to the car. I might have to lockpick in. Maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. No, it does not. All right. I'm not sure what's broken about this thing. No, it's not moving though. Hang on. The engine's on, but it's not moving. There we go. Okay. Oh, Okay. All right. We have this thing. I just have to get it down here now without breaking it. That was honestly pretty good. I was gonna try a different way at, you know, distracting them, but this worked out pretty well. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Oh no. What the hell is this? Hey, I just I'm I'm taking the porta potty for cleaning. Hey, we need that. Well, I gotta poop. Do it on the, the job site. Listen, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's just come this way. All the way down. There we go. Um, he's probably gonna call the cops on me. And dude, okay, I see why this thing needs a repair. It does not drive well at all. Oh my god, hang on. We have got to go. We're just gonna bring it in, um, get it to the mechanic shop, and hopefully I can fix the handling on it, cause oh my my goodness i don't want to drive this thing at all all right the quicker i get rid of this thing the better so here we are at the mechanic shop let's just park it over here we'll fix it up later whatever needs to be done with it all right park it right here and ladies and gentlemen i believe that is car number three successfully stolen and i just say i am getting pretty darn good at this so let's go ahead switch up our outfit and go on to car number four all right i'm over here at the docks there is a race going on right now and apparently the cursed car is taking part in it so I'm going to basically, you know, participate in the race. And then whenever I get a good chance, try to steal the car. Not sure what car it is. I have an idea uh, that it's probably going to be pretty obvious once I pull up what I'm going to have to steal. I hope I'm not late. Like, I hope they didn't start yet. But I don't think I should. We're sitting to meet up, like, over here by the trailers. Oh, here we go. And oh, goodness. I see the cursed car. All right. Because, I mean, it has to be it. <laughs> That has to be it. And it does look pretty damaged and rusty. Uh, let me pull up. Hey, guys. Am I late? No, you're just on time. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Sorry. I know I said I was late. My bad for making you wait. Oh, we're starting. All right. Race is starting. I feel a little bad. I was late. Here we go. Race is starting. Here we go. Let's try to get an overtake right at the start. Oh, but I was cut off. I was cut. What? Move, bro. Move. Dirty racers, bro. We're at the brake check. You go undercut. Dive bomb. Cursed car right behind me. Or right in front of me, I should say. Oh. We have got to... I'm going to try hey, to... you ain't got nothing. Yeah, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what I got. Here we go. Let's come around here. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, big crash. Okay. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. This is actually, this is actually not bad. This is actually not bad. Repairing the car a lot more than I thought I would, though. Oh, goodness. Okay, get him out of the car. Get him out of the car. I'm burning alive. Oh, my God. I wished it oh, upon him. Call the ambulance. It's okay, sir. You're all good. Oh, watch for the racers. Watch for the racers. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh. Sir, call 911. Call 911. Call 911. Yeah, I'll get him called. Help him. I'm going to go get help. All right, he's doing that. You know what? Car is absolutely wrecked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a tow truck really quick. I'm going to just try to yoink it during all the chaos. All right, I got the tow truck, dude. I am just going to say, you know, hey, we got to get this off the track. We got to get off the track. It's going to be a hazard. You know, I'm then going to bring it over, fix the car up. The race is still going on. So we're going to have to dodge people as they're racing. They have no consideration for anything that just happened. This guy was talking smack and then he crashed. So let's back it up here. Back it up here. 
Hey, I'm gonna have to get this thing off of the track. It's gonna be a hazard to the other racers. I'm gonna move it. Hey, listen, it's all good. The, the cops are on their way. The cops are on their way. I called them. Okay. I did not call them. We have got to get in this thing. We have the car. There is a mechanic shop right down here, dude. So we just got to bring it over here. Is it this one? It is, it is, it is. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we're at the mechanic shop. Let's go ahead and take this off of the truck. There we go. We're going to move this to the side, fix that up, and drive out of here before the actual emergency services decide to show up. So we got to be quick with it, dude. We got to be real freaking quick. This is a lot more damage than I was expecting. You know, I did not expect it to fully blow up. I don't know if he was expecting for it to fully blow up either, but we are going to give it a go with our repair kit all right i think we have fixed up the cars car and i have to say it looks pretty clean you know not really it's actually filthy it is filthy and disgusting but it looks sick it looks sick i hear a lot of sirens so i think the real cops and fire department are probably here but let's see our work here we go dude and oh my god yeah big accident big cop response let's go this way oh he's following me though He's following me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This thing's probably not road legal. Is he pulling me over? It's fine. We'll, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him. We'll talk our way out of it. That guy, though, dude, is... Uh, rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to him. And we got a Ferrari on us. Oh, no. Oh, there's a lot of cops. Oh, they know. I, I think they know. Hey. Hey, what's going on, officer? How we doing? Hey, I'm uh, doing all good. How about you? Oh, I'm good. A lot of cops here. What's going on? Yeah, so we got a report of a stolen vehicle that looks... Yeah, really? Exactly um, like yeah, that. okay. I knew it. I thought I was going to talk me out of it. Once the second cop pulled up, there's still a chance. One, there's four cops, though, dude. You know that they know. You know that they know. We have got to get out of here. Let's come like here. Up like that. This thing is a freaking beast, man. This thing is a freaking beast. And uh, guys, really quickly, if you are enjoying the video so far, it means a lot of you. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Subscribing is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. We just hit 500k and are on the road to 1 million. So if you are new to the channel, why not hit the sub button? I upload a lot, and oh my god, dude, these cops behind me are having trouble, which is better for me though. This thing is honestly really fast. I was kind of expecting it to be like super duper slow, but no, I like it. I'm a big fan of this car. It took a lot of repair kits you know it took like four repair kits to <laughs> to fully repair this thing but you know what it's fine we are all good we only have one cop on us right now though so that is very very good and this is the first cop chase of the video normally by now i'd have like two or three but you know what i've kind of been taking the easy route with things just killing people before they have a chance to do anything bad to me and i don't see a single cop behind me right now so i'm just gonna continue down and let's cut across this grassy area right here here we go like this watch out all right we're good i'm not seeing the cops i think they all crashed out because i what else would happen <laughs> like where where did they go where did they go but ladies and gentlemen that is car number four successfully stolen and i have to say i am very very happy with how this video is going so far so i'm gonna stash it up over here by the cafe i don't think anybody will really see it over here at least not for now we're gonna park it up right back here this thing is really cool i cannot wait to use this in a video and guys let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me do with these cars i have a lot of them and i think they would all be really fun to use so let me know what you think i should do but that is car number four and now we're gonna go switch up our outfit and we're gonna go on to car number five all right we are on our way to car number five which apparently is just broken down over here kind of in like the oil field area apparently it's a yellow flip car that's the only thing i really know about it i'm not seeing it but oh no there's another tow truck no 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 i don't think so i don't freaking think so that's my car buddy that's my car hey that's my car hey i got the call first buddy i got the call first i don't think so take it off oh it's my car I got the call before you. Uh, take it off the truck. Let's go. Why would I be called if you already called? Listen, take it off the truck. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that, sir. I don't think you know who you're messing with. Take it off the freaking truck. Is he Is he just getting in? You, yeah, no, I'm not going to have a great day. Hang on. No, I don't think so. I don't freaking think so. There's no shot. <laughs> Dude, there's no, there's actually no way. Give me the car. Give me the freaking car, dude. There, you just hit. I'm not messing around. There. Oh, we're doing this? Oh, you want to do this? All right, let's do it. Listen, I got the call before you did, which means it's my car. It, no, you did not. Why would I be called? Take it off the truck. I'm going to put it on mine. Uh, that, that's going to be a no. It is going to be a yes. Uh, that's going to be a no. You want to go? Yeah, do you want to go? You, oh, we're square. Ow. Swing. Ow. 
All right, well, swing again. I dare you. You swing. Oh, uh, uh, what are you doing? What is? What was that? What? Is, you don't even have a gun. Swing, swing. I dare you. Swing. Ow. Okay, so you want to go? Yeah, swing. Boom. All right. Now listen. Look what I got. How about I just take the car? How about that? You happy? Uh, yeah, you can take. Take it off the truck. Let's go. Take it off the truck. You're going to put it on my truck. If you drive off, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting him. I'm not fighting him. I'm just taking what I want. I kind of forgot that it's me. All right. Now put it on my truck. Let's go. Attach it to my truck. I'm not messing around. Don't even think about calling the cops either. It's not allowed over here. You don't come to my call and jack my freaking weird car, dude. All right. This is my flip car now. Yeah. All right. Now, listen, I'm not going to kill you. Get in your truck and leave. All right. Get in the truck. And I don't want to ever see you again, bucko. All right. I was actually not anticipated. <laughs> I thought it was going to be super easy. Come over here, grab the freaking futuristic cursed flip car and drive away. But no, that guy decided to show up and jack my thing, bro. I don't think so. You don't mess with Wafloos, man. You don't mess with me. But guys, that is car number five successfully stolen. And just looking at this, there's no way it's worth like under a million. So repairing it, fixing it up and just having Having it is going to be super, super nice for future videos. I mean, I already have one of these technically. I could just sell it and make an easy $1.5 million. So I'm going to bring it over to my garage, stash it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head straight down to car number six, which apparently is being held at a dealership at Vespucci. I have experience with the dealership, so I, you know, <laughs> I should be able to steal it pretty, pretty easily. Okay, so I got like a mechanic outfit and a truck. I'm over here at the dealership for the next car. Apparently they have a specialty mechanic coming in to fix one of the cursed cars that is owned by a customer so i'm just gonna go in pretend to be that mechanic gain access to the car then all i have to do is repair it and steal it and we will be good to go let's park up here looks like a pretty nice dealership i mean i wouldn't rob it uh because i already have like four times but <laughs> But, you know, it's fine. We're going to go in. Damn technology. I don't know how to Oh, out. the dealership guy is already screaming about something. All right. He's probably in a pretty bad mood. Oh. Hey, guys. What's going on? How are we doing today? It's me. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm here. I'm the mechanic you called, you called in for the for the car. I'm sure that's that's back there. You are not the mechanic. Is this the mechanic? <laughs> nah, he looks nothing like him. No, no. Sorry. Hey, no. do me a favor. Get the hell out of my dealership. He, huh? No, 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 no. He's sick. I'm just here. Oh, he's sick? Yeah. No, I doubt it because I just got off the phone with him. Get out of here. Never mind. Sorry to, sorry to waste your time. Oh, no, dude. All right. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We have other ways to gain access. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave and I'm going to pose as a customer. Then all I'm going to do is uh, whenever they're not looking, go in steal the car drive away they're probably gonna call the cops but you know what what's another cop chase to me park up here there we go all we're gonna do is switch up our outfit and head back to the dealership shortly all right we are on a bmx bike i got my outfit switched up i am just gonna go in there and tell them i want to look at some of the cars i might buy one i might not blah 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 just leave me alone then all i'm gonna do is when they're not looking sneak into the side take that car not even sure really what it is i just see like a pink blob i, I don't even know what it is i don't even know but let's come over here here. Let's talk to him. I look completely different, so he should not recognize me. Hey, welcome to my dealership where the cars are fast and they're definitely not overpriced. How can I help you, sir? Oh, uh, hey, I'm just looking. I might purchase one, but I don't know yet. Just, just want to look around pretty much. All right, yeah, go ahead and look around and let me know if you have any questions, all right? All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Ramirez, real quick question. Where's, uh, where's Jack, dude? I have no clue. I've been trying to call him trying to call last thing i heard he was at burger shot oh. trying to pick up some food for himself and me i haven't heard anything else burger shot you know, i'll try one last time he's not picking up at all he's not picking up nope hey leave him a message and just tell him he's got to get his ass over here we got that we need that car fixed real quick oh my god yeah all right thank you okay he's at burger shot you know that could actually work that, that could be a lot more interesting than this hang on all right sir Did I, you find what you were looking for i can't afford any of these i gotta go all right you take care now. Yeah, you too. I'm gonna stick to my bike. All right. You know what? That sounds like a plan. All right. I was gonna try to sneak back there, but they were probably not gonna let me near that car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm 
going to head to Burger Shot really quickly. And if I can find him, I'm just going to take him at gunpoint, take his clothes, and then basically pretend to be him again. Except this time I'll actually look like him, if that makes sense. So I got to be it really quick. But lucky for me, Burger Shot is just up the street and we are not far at all. Okay, here we are at Burger Shot. There's a car in the drive-thru, couple cars parked out front. I'm going to take my chance with the drive-thru. I mean, if he's waiting, that could honestly be good. So let's put the bike here and let's sneak up like this. I just want to see what this guy in the car looks like before I... Hey, can you hurry up with my food? You've been like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? You're just going to ignore me like that? I think this is probably him. Yeah, okay. He's wearing a mechanic outfit. Hey, buddy, go ahead. Drive the car. Forget about your food. Go drive the car. Okay. Leave the okay. drive through. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yep. Just reverse past the drive through. How long are you waiting for your food for 10 minutes? What's taking so long? I don't know. He's on his phone. He's on his phone. All right. Pull into the alleyway to the left. Let's go. I'm going to mess around. Are you Jack? Yes. Okay. Listen, I'm going to need a favor from you. Just keep keep driving up. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All the way up. Take a left past this wall right here. Yeah, stop. I get out of the car. Out of the car. Okay, okay. Listen, I'm going to need something from you. All right? It's going to sound it's going to sound weird. It's going to sound freaky. It's not freaky. I promise. You need to do it or I'm going to kill you. What do you need? Go ahead. Take off your jumpsuit. Leave your shoes. Take off all your clothes except, you know what? Just don't take off all your clothes. Just take off your jumpsuit. All right? Okay. I'm taking off my pants. Yep. Let me just look this way. Let me know when you're done. I hope he's not running off one. Okay, I'm done. You're done? Okay, great. Put him on the ground. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now listen, it's not personal. I need you to go in this garage, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going. All right, don't move. I will be back for you later. Have a nice day. All right, we're gonna get in the car. We are gonna lock him in that garage. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna drive away, change into his outfit and pretend to be the dealer. Uh, He has a British accent, so I'm probably gonna have to try to do something like that, but I'm not great at it. I'm hoping that the dealer worker is kind of stupid. That's the plan at least. So really quick, let me actually switch up to his outfit really quick and I will be on my way. All right, and here here we go. We are dressed just like him. Hello, mate. I'm here to fix the car. That, that, that works. That works, right? Like, I just won't say a whole lot to him. We got his car. This thing's actually not bad for what it is. <laughs> like, kind of surprising. Uh, this thing drives better than the taco truck, which is, you know, whatever. But here we are. We're coming up on the dealership. Let's go ahead and see if this plan is going to work or if that is all for nothing. And if I have to just hold them all at gunpoint in order to do what I need to do. All right, let's move on in. I look a little bit different, but it's fine. Hello, mate. Hey, what's going on? Jeff, where the hell have you been? Listen, mate. They messed up the burgers. I had to I had to call it quits, mate. He was ignoring me on his telly. Oh, so you didn't even give me my burger? No, listen, I'm just here to fix the car real quick i got multiple other jobs to do today are you doing all right are you sick you don't sound right yeah i i feel a little bit under the weather okay you know coming from england they're not used to the sun is the car over here yeah it's over yeah. here ramirez can show you ramirez what's going on mate this the car right here what's wrong with it she won't turn on uh, yeah basically that pretty old okay all right well listen you just give me about an hour i'll have a uh, looking new as the queen well that's not a great lesson uh, just yeah. don't i'll fix it up all nice and danny should be looking like buckingham palace in no time all right okay all right mate have a lovely day uh chip chip cheerio yeah i've been the officer hip, anything. Hip. all right thank you sir all right he's gone he's gone we're gonna come over here we're gonna fix this thing up get it to run again okay we're fixing up the car i'm using the repair kit it's gonna take a couple i don't know what's wrong with this thing it looks fine but it is just kirby but underneath kirby it's like the dirtiest rustiest car i've ever seen in my entire life so it shouldn't take too much to fix it up let's just see give it a go all right and there we go now that means we should be able to turn it on let's see see no oh, i'm trying to turn it on there we go all right and they're not even paying attention uh i'm just gonna drive away i'm just driving away with the cursed car you know we got kirby here nothing wrong with it later gentlemen later oh he sees me and he's running after me but he can run all you want you're not gonna catch me what is up with these cars handling surprisingly nice because there's no reason kirby should be this fast bro there's no reason look at the car that's underneath it what that bro why is it so fast i don't understand but you know what i don't care no cops involved in this one. Oh boy let's recover 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 
we're good we're good all right ladies and gentlemen that is the cursed car successfully stolen and if i'm correct we have one car left remaining on the list and i saved this one for last because this one is insane i really really want it and the amount of security that is guarding this car is going to be tough so i decided do you know what hey if we die here or we die at least we'll have all the other cars from earlier because this one is probably one of the riskiest things i'm ever going to have to do in this game but i look forward to it because the risk to reward is definitely going to be worth the payoff all right the last car of the day is over here in richmond which is like the super wealthy area and the car is being held over here at this massive mansion so let's see yeah i see a bunch of guards i don't see the car but that's fine i'm sure it's here somewhere got a helicopter we got anybody in back yeah okay we have a guard back here that's good to know that's very very good to know all right you know what i'm gonna leave the tow truck here for when we have to actually steal it but for now i'm gonna try to get a vantage point from on top of the college to where we can actually see you know who is where because i don't want to be going in there blind because i was told he has eight to ten security guards guarding the mansion at all times and i'm not going in there without knowing exactly where every single one of them is all right i am on top of the mansion i hope i can see from here let's see if it's possible no it's not all right you know what that's not great <laughs> That's not great. Let's try to note people from here. I know there's a guard here, and there's probably at least two guards out front with a couple of guards scattered around the property. I'm going to say that's good enough. I do have a machine gun and a bunch of heavy body armor, so I should probably be fine. Uh, assuming the drop down doesn't kill me. Land in the bush. Land in the bush. I missed the bush. Ow. That hurt. All right, it's fine. We're going to run over there. I'm just going to move through the back, take out the guard, and then kill anyone else I come across until I get to the cursed car. Then I'm going to steal it, bring it over here to the tow truck where all I have to do, put it on and drive away. I don't know. Can I get up here? I can. can get up here. Oh, but I can't. Oh, I could kill this guard. Okay, this is what this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this guard right here, move through the side gate, and then just keep on moving through the house past these supercars. Then I'm assuming the car is parked over there with the guards at the front. So on the count of three, we're going to take them out on one, two, three. Oh, okay. Took him out. He took a bunch of headshots, which is kind of surprising, but that means we can move through here. Hope this is unlocked. Please be unlocked. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Guard down here. Make sure he's taken out. And we're going to move through the front lawn. We have a billionaire helicopter. We're going to move past the helicopter over by these supercars. Let's get down. Let's move across. I am being super careful because, dude, I don't know if there's going to be 15 security guards on these roofs or, or what's going on. Let's move around here. I don't see anyone. Anybody over by the helicopter? Ooh, yeah, there is. Okay. All right, we're going to take this guy out. Here we go. He's dead. All right. Those are the only two people I've seen so far, but there's probably going to be more around here. So let's come up here. One guard by that SUV. There's one up front. And ladies and gentlemen, there is the cursed car. So there's three guards out front with the car. We have the freaking Batmobile, dude. This thing is insane. It's one of my dream cars to steal on the server. It has machine guns. It's bulletproof, kind of. And it's just an absolute tank. So I'm going to take out the guard by here really quickly. Oh, they see me. Oh, they see me. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Uh, they're really, they're missing. They're missing. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. I'm getting cross-fired right now, dude. Cross-fired. There we go. Oh, took him out. I don't know what he was doing. He just ran out of cover. Another one. Take him out. There we go. We got him. Is that all of them? I think that might be all of them, dude. Make sure they're all dead. All right. You know what? Here it is. This thing is destroyed, bro. Is this actually Batman? Because why on earth is this thing so destroyed? But we got the Batmobile. And oh my God. Oh my God. Good thing my tow truck is right nearby. Open the gate. Here we go. Bring it down here. And dude, this thing is destroyed. It is so wrecked. It is so freaking wrecked. I'm sure the cops heard that gunshot though. So we have got to move quickly. We're going to hop out throw it on the tow truck perfect fit actually perfect oh my goodness all right tow truck goes on hopefully yeah there we go and we drive away to my mechanic shop where i can fix it up super super easy dude that was kind of close at the end i almost freaking died there i'm gonna be honest i almost died let me pop another armor really quick in case the cops show up and try to kill me but dude oh my goodness this car is actually just 
shot up full of bullet holes. It's like Swiss cheese, bro. It is like Swiss cheese. Bring it by the auto shop. Let's open the door. All right, we're going to back it in just like that. We're going to take it off the truck. There we go. Since that's the last car, I don't need the tow truck anymore. So we're just going to park it here. It served me well today, but you know what? We're done with it for now. And then all we got to do is come over here and fix this thing up and we will have a fully functioning Batmobile, dude. All right. And here we go. This thing is looking absolutely beautiful. So let's hop in and turn it on. And oh, dude, this thing just looks and sounds mean. Not to mention the 360 machine guns that we have on it. So I have a feeling like this is going to get used in a bunch of future videos. Today, I'm on my way to a futuristic car dealership that just opened up here in Vinewood. So the plan today is we're going to go by, see what is up. And if it's worth robbing, we're going to try to rob the entire thing. I'm pretty excited because the last time I robbed a futuristic dealership, it's actually the dealership I've made the most profit off of because some of these cars are absolutely insane if it's anything like the previous one. And let's see. Okay, right off the bat, I see a flying motorcycle. That's a good sign. We're going to pull up. We're going to walk in. And we're going to see if we can take one of them on a test drive just to kick us off. Oh, and before I forget, thank you guys for 500K. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. And for those of you asking where the 500K bounty video is, keep an eye out. It is coming out soon. I'm not wearing my mask today. I didn't really want to get recognized, especially with how high stakes this dealership is. We're going to walk in. And it looks like this is either a security guard or the dealership worker. I'm not seeing any else though so that's could be good because last time there was a lot of security hello sir how are you very good how are you i'm great i'm great just uh i saw you guys on twitter you said it's a futuristic car dealership yes we have a lot of futuristic cars here as you can see hang on quick question because I, I don't want there to be any confusion these cars are in fact for sale and not just for show yes they're for sale okay all right what is what is the cheapest car which is going to be this bike over here. The bike, okay. And how much is the bike? This bike is one million. That's the cheapest thing. Okay, you know what? Yeah. That's fine. I got tons of money. I got tons of money. Yeah, I can totally afford that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what what is this thing over here? Is this from Dune? Is this the the co the helicopter from Dune? Uh, I think so. I'm not totally sure. Are you messing with me? Because there's de this is definitely not this is definitely not it. it. Looks pretty cool though. Uh, we got a Formula car. That's pretty nice. Listen, I would like to take one of the vehicles on a test drive. I don't care which one it is. Whatever you think. All right, you're the dealership. Whatever you think a guy like me would prefer to drive. I mean, it's your choice. Yeah. How much is the purple one? The purple one is two million. Okay. You know what? That sounds good. Let's do that. You. Like, you, what do you need from me? I just need your license from registration. Okay. Right. Well, I don't have registration. I don't own the car yet. Oh, of course not. Okay. Okay, officer. Yeah, here is, uh, here's my ID. My name is Greg. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. You have keys for it? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Awesome. Let's get, let's get going. You know, let's get started. Let's get going. There you go. Thank you very much. Hang on, I might need to get in that side because I can't, I can't get in. I can't get in. Let's see. All right. There we go. All right. We are good. We are good. Oh, it's electric. You didn't say it was electric. I love the environment. Very, very nice, sir. Um, question. Be honest with me here. Okay. Okay. Can I speed? As long as it's within the speed limit. Okay. Then that's not speeding. <laughs> Listen, you know, it's two million bucks. I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna do. Oh my God, sir. This thing is a rocket ship, bro. Oh my God. You're gonna have to pay for the expenses if you crash it. I'm not gonna crash it. I'm not gonna crash it. Yo, listen, I got an idea though. I got an idea. I'm gonna buy this car. All right, I'm telling you right now, this car is coming home with me. But, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta get approval from the missus, you know, the old ball and chain. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of, you know, of the car for her, make sure she likes the color. If she does, I'll give you cash for it. All right, sound good? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. If you wanna hop out, you know, she doesn't like seeing other people in photos. It's just like a weird, a weird quirk. Yeah, very, very nice. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna reposition the car. So you stay there and you tell me what is the optimal angle for the photo, okay? Is this good? A little bit more. Uh, What about this one? Is this good? Okay, I'm gonna take this now. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, he's running after me. All right, dude. I mean, this is why I love futuristic car dealerships, dude. Because the first car in, we're already up 2 million bucks. Because, I mean, look at this thing. We got the, the Rimac, I think is what it's called. This thing is super nice. It is insanely fast, too. So that is that is super good to have. So we're gonna bring the car all the way over here. We're gonna stash it up and we're gonna head back down to the dealership. I have a good feeling he's probably gonna call the cops, though. So I gotta be a little bit sneaky with it. But you know what? Let's park the car right up here behind the fruit stand. Uh, Yeah, like right here. No, no one's gonna find this. No one comes down this way. So we'll hop out. Let's switch up our outfit, head back down to the dealership and see if we can't find another way to steal that yellow car. Because that thing seemed super, super nice. Okay, I threw another outfit on and I am back by the dealership. 
And all right, as to be expected, there are cops here. So actually, you know what might be the best bet? I might go through the back door and then assuming he and the cops are not inside, I can probably just lockpick into one of the cars. It's probably the best way to do it. I got my new outfit and I was going to try to, you know, pose as a different guy, you know, with the fake mustache and hat and everything. But this could honestly work better as long as I know exactly where they are. Because it looks like there was two cops here, maybe three. All right, let's see. We got two cops out there with the dealership owner. There could be another one inside or another two inside if they're you know the cops are doubled up together but i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna assume there's only two of them so we're gonna come through here all the way back because they're actually in a pretty good position like as long as they don't see me coming here they shouldn't see me lock picking into the car and i don't really see anyone else so while they're not paying attention i'm gonna come over to the yellow one we are gonna hack into it get in the car drive away there's gonna be a cop chase but i don't really remember how this car drives like i have never driven this before i don't think so it could be bad but it could also not be bad who knows? Let's go here. That's what we're looking for. Vehicle unlocked. We're going to hop in. Turn it on. Dude, they haven't seen me. They're not even looking at me. I wish there was another door to go out of because that would honestly be super easy. So we're going to open this. <laughs> They're definitely going to see me now. Excuse me, guys. Hey, that's my car. I, I got to... Excuse me. What? Excuse hey, me. you're not supposed to drive. No, me. I'm bringing it to the mechanic shop, guys. I work here. I work here. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. The cops are coming. The cops are coming. <laughs> so freaking easy all right we got uh two cop cars on us they are already decently far back though so let's come down here let's come down this way this car honestly is not that fast it's not slow by any means but you know it's what is he what do you say 2.5 million dollars i don't even know what he said for this thing but who knows dude who freaking knows let's come up here spin around maybe they won't see me <laughs> oh I honestly don't think he would have spotted me if he didn't crash. All right. If he didn't have bad driving, I probably would be escaping him right now. But whatever. But guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, I mean, if you'd leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. We are, uh, I was going to say we're very close to 500K, but we just hit it. So, you know, if you want to be in the under 1 million club, smack that sub button. I have no idea where these cops went. I'm just going to keep trying to go behind them so I don't run into them. I hear them. I don't know where I hear them. Oh, there's one of them. There's one of them. Did he see me? yeah okay he saw me yeah he saw me oh boy all right here we go uh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into the river we're gonna hit a little jumperoni oh don't hit me oh my god he hit me so hard my game crashed what all right we're back in game and it looks like in the time i had to reload in some of them swapped cars so they have interceptors on us now not great but you know what who cares this car it's not amazing but i've definitely escaped them in worse vehicles the turning radius on this thing, not not loving it, though. I'm not loving it. I want to go on the highway. I have a feeling this car is really going to shine on straightaways. Assuming I don't slam into that and stall the freaking engine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I can't believe that cop literally slammed into me so hard my game closed. I don't even know how that's possible. I have to, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. But we're, we're going to head on here. As long as they don't pit me into oblivion, should be fine. I'm going to try to mess them up with some stuff, though. We'll come over here, flip around. Oh, no, I messed that up. We're good, though. We recovered. Not even a scratch on the car. Let's come back here and slide over and then across. Oh, yeah, there we go. That, that, that had to mess at least one of them up. There's no way that didn't mess a single one up. Come down here. Like this. Here we go. On here. I hear two of them. I can't really look behind me right now because I don't want to die. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. All right. We got a Porsche 4 GT and a Crown Vic on us. I would say the Crown Vic is probably the smallest threat that we're having to deal with right now. It's all good in the neighborhood. There is not a single issue, you know, I'm not worried at all. There's not a bone in my body that doesn't think I'm going to escape these cops. So what we're going to do, let's head into Sandy. I think if I go into Sandy and then I go on like the Route 68 area, that should honestly be really good just because, uh, you know, then all we got to do is uh, lose them on some of the turns and the curves in the road and we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's come like this. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. We are in Sandy. Yeah, man. All right. I still see one behind me. The Porsche is keeping up. It's like the fastest cop car they have. The 4 GT is a close second, but I don't know where he is. Can't really see him, but we're starting to pull from the Porsche. All right, dude, I was going to go on uh, on the Route 68 with this cop behind me, but I have a feeling it's probably just going to be better for me to stick to roads like this where I don't have to worry too much about turning just because the turning radius on this car isn't great and it's already starting to get pretty beat up and it's starting to rattle. I'm hearing a little bit of a rattling sound and I'm not loving that. Um, 
That's not. Ooh, I gotta stop doing that, dude. I gotta stop doing that. We get the Porsche behind us. I'm not sure where the rest of the cops are. No clue. But I'm hoping they're not gonna spike strip this road because then I will die in a fiery car accident. Back onto this road. Here we go. Here we go. Just like this. We are good in the neighborhood. Dude, this Porsche, man. We're gonna do something about this freaking Porsche. All right, let's come down here. On to this highway, the freeway. There we go. Oh my God, dude, that AI just almost killed me. All right, this is actually the shot because we are almost good. We're almost away. As long as this guy doesn't turn into me. And then we hop up here. Go down. Swing around here. And does he see me? Does he see me? I don't know, but we're turning off of the highway. Coming down like this. My buildings are melting. Something is wrong with my game, dude. I got to reinstall my mods or something because there's no reason my game should be crashing and having texture loss, dude. No reason. I think we're good, though. Oh, my God. What is wrong with my game? What is wrong with this? Okay. All right. You know what? We lost the cops. That is all that matters. So let's bust into here. Hide the car. Uh, let's put it like right here. It's actually a pretty good spot. So we're going to leave the car here and I'm going to head back down to the dealership. And I think for this one, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take the motorcycle. Don't know how the cops are going to chase me with it because I have used that before and it flies. <laughs> It flies and has machine guns. So I'm going to get a car, head back up there and try to find a good way to steal that million dollar bike. Okay, so I got a cop car and a cop outfit. The plan is pretty simple. I'm going to go in there, tell him that I need to investigate the car thefts and I'm going to help him secure the rest of his vehicles. Then all I'm going to do is either lock pick one of the cars or get the keys to it, hop on and then fly away on the flying bike. So let's pull up with our lights on just like this and let's try try and schmooze him into giving us the keys to the bike because that would honestly be much much easier hello sir how's it going not too good my name is sergeant crackle i'm with the lspd car theft division i'm here to uh, investigate the little thievery that you guys have had going on here today yes sir i heard that you uh you had about four and a half million dollars of cars stolen is this accurate that's correct yes that's correct okay uh listen how is he stealing these cars sir because i mean this is a pretty nice dealership i just i have a hard time believing that a nice gentleman like you is just letting him come in here and take them i mean sir you got a cannon on your back <laughs> like you're letting him come in and take them What's up? So the first time he um, he came in, I took him on a test drive and he ran away with the car. Oh, classic. And the second time, uh, the cops came and took my statement. And while I was outside, he came in and took the other car. Oh, well, you can't fault him for being crafty. <laughs> Listen, I want to take a look around. I'm going to see if there's any access points. If there is, I'm going to plug them up. Uh, if not, okay. I'll hide around the corner. If he comes back, give him the old, you know, give him the old one too. You know what I mean? Yeah, will do. Very nice. All right, let me just go. Is this your office up here, sir? It is, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take a look up here, all right? Okay, we are in the office. This is normally where they keep the keys, but I don't really, I mean, there's keys there, but I don't know if that's real. <laughs> Right, I'm not seeing anything. Let me let me go check the office downstairs because there should be a second area. All right, your office looks all good. I'm, I'm going to take a peek, in, uh, peek into the cellar's area. Okay. All right, let's come in here. And we're looking for keys. Keys, keys. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. I have a feeling the keys are on him. So we could hold him at gunpoint, but that would kind of blow our cover right away. But I'm going to do... I'm just taking a look at this thing, okay? I'm going to just take a look. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tell him that we're doing whatever. We're going to hack into it. I'm just doing a little fingerprint kit, all right? Just make sure he didn't touch it with his grubby hands. I don't think he touched that car. Uh, well, I'll do it anyways. Can't hurt. I already started. All right, here we go. Vehicle unlocked. Listen, I'm going to have to hop on this thing real quick. I can't reach it from down here. So I got to hop on just like that. There we go. I'm going to turn it on too. And you know what? I need more sunlight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside with it as well. If that's all right. Oh, oh, there's a, another officer here. Hang on, we got this. What is going on? Oh no. Oh no. Is this a setup? Hey guys. Hey, hey. listen. Hey. Personating a police officer now? <laughs> is is that is that stupid too low for you, officer? Oh god, I did not mean to hop off. Um. Oh, there's another one of you. Hey, how's it going, McLaren? How you doing? Oh my. That's kind of rude. I'm not gonna lie. But all right. I guess that was a setup, or maybe not. Maybe they're just waiting for me, which can't really blame them. We are on the hover bike. What the hover bike can also do is we can do little jumps like that. Oh my god. Why are you yelling? And you just killed an innocent man. Watch this. We got a booster out of two. We got a booster out of two. So we could go like this. And we also have machine guns so if they get in our way and they get very uh annoying we can kind of come down here and we could shoot at them like yeah look he's running who's running now who's in the pursuit now yeah baby yeah <laughs> and if he goes to try to hit me i can just go above him super easy super super easy you know what let's come right like this right down here oh no 
Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I okay? Oh, I'm fine. I got... Listen, it was just a prank. That was just a joke. That was just messing around. They're not even real bullets. Oh, yeah. They're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting. Let's hit this. Come around here. And you know what? Should we blast them? I think we should. I think we should. Yeah. All right. They're lining up for me. Perfect. 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 You know, let's, let's go back onto this main road. Oh, my God. One of them just killed themselves. Bro, where are they? I'm trying to shoot them. <laughs> I'm trying to have fun. Where are they at? Come over here. All the way down. Oh, yeah. There's one of them. Oh, there's two of them. We got bait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Blast them. Oh, we got them in the leg. We got them in the leg, but they're shooting. All right. You know what? I had my fun. <laughs> I had my fun. Let's get out of here with this thing. Let's get out of here with this thing. You know, should we go back one more time? Let's go back one more time. Why not? All right. We'll swing around. I'm hearing a helicopter. I don't know if that's AI, though. I think that's AI. There's a cop down here. Yeah, they're still shooting at me, but good luck hitting me at that range. And come down. No! No! No, 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 no. Did he see that? Oh, that is so bad. Ow. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. There's a cop right there. Where's my motorcycle? There it is. Okay. You know, let's get our gun out. Everything's fine. This is this is not a terrible situation that I put myself in. Dude, why do I do this? I should have just freaking... Okay. Oh, there's a cop by the bike. There's a cop by the bike. Should we get him? He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, bro. I killed one cop and I'm dead. All right. We just got out of prison. That was, uh, you know, I got a little greedy. I was going to go back and try to kill some of the cops, but I failed because <laughs> I got stuck on the freaking wall, dude. I got stuck on the wall and they shot me and I died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just head back to the dealership, hold him at gunpoint, take the bike again and fly away. Hopefully this time without a cop chase, without a shootout, anything. I want this one to be super, super clean. So let me get my office switched up and I'm going to head back to the dealership. Okay. The dealership is right in front of me i am now in my normal outfit once again oh my god dude i got scared I, th <laughs> I thought that was a real cop that's just my cop car from earlier we're fine what i'm gonna do is i am gonna pull my gun out we're gonna run in there hold him at gunpoint we already have the keys to the bikes so we don't need anything from that and then we are going to just hop on the bike and drive away or fly away i guess so let's come in here three two one a move adds up okay 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 i'm back listen i may or may not have accidentally gotten too greedy and filled to the motorcycle so i'm here for it again all right just don't do anything stupid just take it okay just take it that's that's what i'd like to hear that is what i like to hear so just don't move don't pull that that cannon off your back and kill me with it then have a lovely day sir this is gonna be the last one i'm taking so no need to worry about the rest of them hasta la vista baby hasta la vista all right and then let's just go <laughs> Let's just get out of here. I'm not trying to get gunned down for another time in today's video. I'd prefer if they could just get gunned down and killed one time a day. But all right, $1 million motorcycle is in the bag. I am just going to bring it over to the golf course and leave it here. Hopefully, I'll remember to come back for it later. But here we go, just like this. Easy. That was uh, very, very smooth. All right, that's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. We still have two cars left, though. All right, we have the Formula E car and we have the hover car. I like to save the biggest for last, so I'm going to go... For for the formula car we're gonna try to do that there's definitely gonna be a cop chase they're just not gonna let me do anything after this like they're gonna be pretty pretty on me so i'm gonna head back down to the dealership and we are gonna try to find another way to get into the formula car and i actually have an idea this could be really stupid but let me try it okay so i put on a racing suit and since it is a formula car i think it's actually a pretty good idea i'm gonna say hey i heard you had this car i really want to test it out it's a one-seater though but i'm a big racer let me let me test drive it well test drive it if we can i don't know what he's gonna say but we'll, we'll try and then we'll come up with a way to steal it but i'm just gonna kind of improv based off of my racing suit i think this makes sense though i actually think this makes sense because i mean why else would a guy with a racing suit come in if he didn't actually want to buy the car you know who, who would do that besides me who would come in and just steal it so let's come around here all right we got two cars left dude we got two cars left i want this to be super super clean and easy i'm hoping this goes well and no security yet that's good last time there was a ton of security but no security this time which is very very good for me hello how's it going hey how's it going sir hey it's going pretty good listen i heard you had a formula car here that i would like to take a look at we do it's over here yeah very nice very nice i'm a big racer myself i actually you, you might have heard of me name uh, Max for stopping. I don't think I have. You that? <laughs> how you selling a formula car? Listen, um, this thing's pretty nice. How much? How much is this? I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, this is ten million. 
10 million. Well, listen, you know, my racing contract is for like 50 million. So I can afford this, you know, I'm, I'm quite rich. However, I would like to take it out on track if that's possible. It is a one seater. So I don't know how a test drive is going to work. Maybe you could just like, let me take it and it'll spin around the block. Come back. Yeah. You, you could follow me in a car. You know, you could, you could take my bike. It's just, we've had a lot of robberies recently and, um, oh, you know what? Don't even worry about it then. Don't even worry about it. All right. How about we go back here and, uh, we chat, you know, let, let's talk numbers. Let's talk numbers. You said 10 million. Could you do like 7.8 million maybe? Maybe take a little off the top. I pay cash. You said you was a Formula One driver and you could afford it. I'm a Formula One driver, sir. I race for Red Bull. All right, Red Bull. You ever heard of? You ever heard of the drink? The energy drink. Yeah, the energy drink. Come, come up in the office. We'll, we'll talk. Let's talk numbers. What do we think? If we do a little bit of a discount, sir. I can maybe do 9.5. Come on, it's me, Max Verstappen, three-time you know racing world champion. You said you could afford it. I can afford it, but doesn't mean I want a bad deal. I think it's a pretty good deal for the car you're buying. I mean, that's up for interpretation. I would say that it is a Formula E car, which doesn't take gas, which means the electric prices, my electric bill, is going to be through the roof. That's going to be at least a million dollars a month in, in electricity costs. So I think maybe we do... Does your company not pay for that? This is a personal thing, sir. This is a personal endeavor. So I'm thinking maybe we go 8 million. Mm -hmm. 8.4 8.4 you know we can do 8.4 hang on I, I have the check right on me right here i have the check right here yeah how about zero hey that's not a check no. i'm not max for stopping sir it's me greg now please hand over the keys to this amazing vehicle Let, let's come out here okay, okay. Let's go. Hurry up. Yep. Just come down here and please, sir, hand over the keys. Does this thing really take keys? Is it more of a fob? How does it work? I'm not really sure. It's keys. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 I probably shouldn't have shot my gun. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Did you call them or was that totally me shooting my gun? No, I did not call them. That's, yeah, that was definitely me shooting. That was a bad decision. All right. Um, don't move here. You're, you're hostage right now, sir. You're hostage right now. Hello, officer. How is it going? Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah, how's it going, officer? Hey. Yeah, um, can I help you? Yeah, what's your plan here? Well, my plan was to steal this Formula E car. Oh, yeah, and how's that going? If you couldn't tell by the outfit, I mean, look at me. You think I was going to take that thing dressed like this? No. Um, yeah, uh, 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 I don't think so. Go back. Go back. All right. Listen, I just want to hop in this thing. You guys kind of got here before I was able to get in it. If you would be so kind to let me hop in the car and drive away, you feel free to chase me. Feel free to chase me. It's all good. I just want to hop in it. Okay, just leave, leave the guy here. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave him here, but let me... There we go. All right. Just don't move, sir. Nobody make any funny business. Sir, you're going to walk alongside my vehicle as I leave. All right, let's go. Come here. Walk alongside. You do anything, I'm going to hit him. I'm going to break his ankles like a Razor scooter. All right. Come on here, sir. Just uh, don't, you know, don't pull your gun on me. Oh, spike strips. We're doing spike strips? I don't think we're doing spike strips. Uh, I think we're doing them. Remove them right now. Remove the spike strips right now or he dies. You have three seconds. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, thank you. That's what I thought. Now, I'm going to get back in my car and drive away. All right, all right, all right. Without spike strips, okay? Really? You just put more down. What was that? All right. Why do you keep bending over? What are you doing? I'm just picking him up. Oh, I didn't even see him. All right. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. All right, dude. We got the car. I did not expect the cops to be there that quickly. They probably wouldn't be. But again, I'm stupid. And I, I shot my freaking gun. Um... Oh boy. I think this car has a boost to it. Yeah, it does have a boost, but the boost is by drifting. And if you know anything about formula cars, they're not meant for drifting. Like not all. Oh my goodness. Bro, what the heck? All right. We're going to hit some straightaways. This thing is actually not the fastest car that we've driven today, which is very surprising because look at these guys, dude. They're able to keep up with me like no, like no problem. Look at them. Uh, so we just got to figure out a way to escape the cops. Uh, if I hit my booster, we could probably get a good amount of room going. Like, oh yeah, there we go. That is good this come along here nope they're still on me just like they're the same speed as me which makes no sense why did my engine stall i didn't even hit anything why did the engine stall it makes no sense all right we're good we're good let's cut through here i just need to keep hitting the boost but unless i drift like if i if i drift a little bit then i guess it'll they give me the boost like that maybe perhaps i hope so this cop was screaming at me i think this is actually the cop that owned the previous dealership on over, why don't hang on can i can i ask you a question yeah did you happen to own a car dealership uh, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, might have. Might have? Yeah. I may I may have yeah, been the one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I should not have mentioned that because this guy has anger issues. This guy has major, major anger issues. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, okay. All right, this guy's a psychopath. Who let this guy on the job, dude? Who let this guy become a cop? That is insane. All right, out of the highway. We got to go on. We got to treat the highway like a racetrack. Here we go. All right, you know, we're, we're coming along here. You know, no issue at all. No issue at all. This cop is a psychopath. So if he, uh, if he catches us, he's probably going to kill me because... Uh, if you guys remember, I robbed a car dealership down at Vespucci Beach as a bunch of different superheroes. And that is the guy that owned it. Because a lot of these cops make no money as cops. So they open car dealerships to make some more money. And then when Iron Man comes by and blows up your entire dealership and steals all the cars. My cars oh my, I don't have them anymore. I sold them all. Chill. Give them back. Chill, stop hitting me. This thing is expensive. It's 10 million bucks. Or 8, 8 million bucks. You give me a discount. 8.4. Give me a discount. All right. Listen, I'm sorry about it. Business is business. Oh, oh! You just killed that guy. You, oh, you just ran him all. What is wrong with you? What? Okay, this the entire police dealership or police, you know, police dealership. This entire police department is full of a bunch of crazies, dude. Full of a bunch of crazies. We got to be careful in that water because that thing could honestly break my entire car. I have an idea. There's a jump up here. I'm gonna hit it, and uh, hopefully I won't go in the water. Hopefully, so I'll hit this. We'll go over here. Perfect. Swing back around like this. Here we go. Oh, such good room. Oh, that works so well. That works so well. But the freaking AI, dude. The AI turned the engine on. Oh, that was so close. Did he not see me? <laughs> Are you blind? Are you actually blind? Because how did you drive by me? Give me my car back. Oh, my God. Why don't you use the money? I have better microphone. How about that? <laughs> listen, listen, you and me, you and me, you and me, you and me. We talk, we talk, we talk. All right, listen, that wasn't me that stole the cars per se. It was Iron Man, Batman, Superman, The Flash, Spider-Man, Deadpool. Deadpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who else, right, who else yeah. was there? All right, well, you know all the, give me the cars back right now. Or else what? Oh, really? We're doing that? Yeah, we're doing that. All right, well, I actually, am, I'm not able to pull my gun out in this car, apparently. Apparently it's too... Wait, you have He's got to go! No, I don't, oh, oh. Dude, my tire! What? Oh, this is so bad. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, my goodness. This is really bad. I have a proposition for you. Leave me alone. How about that? Does that work? It's just one cop. It's just one cop. If we can get to the mechanic shop, we can repair our tires. That is all we need to freaking do. We can go to Benny's. If we can get to Benny's, we can repair the tires and we should be fine. Because it takes... It's very... It's actually very quick. So as long as they don't spike it off, we should be fine. Requesting backup. Oh my God. What is wrong with you? You have serious anger problems, sir. You have serious, serious anger problems. All right. We got to get to Benny's, man. We got to get to Benny's. Because this is this is honestly one of the worst things that could happen in this car. Because this thing, it does not drive without tires, dude. It's not drive without tires. Ask Logan Sargent. <laughs> Listen. Okay. Um, this is bad. This is so bad. But Benny's is right up here. And lucky for me, there's multiple entrances and exits to Benny's. So it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to fix up these tires as long as the doors are open. No? All right. That's not working. That's very unlucky. We're going to try the other door. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is not the worst thing to happen to me today. What? All right. The doors to Benny's is locked. I have another idea. All right. This is, this is my idea. I'm going to take this cop hostage and force him to fix my wheels for me. All right, come here. Listen, I surrender. All right. All right, listen, I'm going to hop out. All right, I'm going to hop out. No funny business. No funny business. Listen. He's got a gun. Listen, 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 listen. Oh. Don't move. Don't move. Hands up right now. We're doing this. All right, listen. I have one request. Go fix my wheels right now. Go get some spares from PDM. Put them on. Go fix them right now. I'm not messing around. Right, look, there's spare tires right here. Look. No, 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 no. I'm not taking no spare tires. Go to... Oh, look, right here. Put the, bo put the box down. We're going to PDM. Let's go. Look, I don't know why you're mad at me. You took my cars. You're the one that popped my freaking tires on my formula car, man. You had a gun. Yeah, of course I had a gun. All right, go get the tires from the service area. Okay, let's go. No, no, listen, sir. Officer, what, what's your name, right. officer? What's your name? None of your business what my name is. Okay, we're doing that. What did we learn today? Walk by the car. Let's go. Keep walking. What did we learn? I learned you're not very nice and you steal people's cars for fun, I guess. No, we learned not to shoot my tires out. That's what we learned. A lot of officers here. Nobody make any sudden movements. You're going to go replace my two back tires and we're, we're not going to have a problem. Then I'm going to let you go and I'm going to escape you guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, 
All right, now go do the other one. Let's go. Chop, chop, man. Don't rush him, all right? Did you say chop, chop? Don't rush him. All right, it looks good. Is it on? Is that on all the way? Yeah, 100%. All the bolts are tightened down for sure. Yep. Ah, come here. All right, you know, he's already gone. All right, listen, I'm going to get in this thing now, and I'm going to go. Please don't murder me for holding a gunpoint. All right, dude, I have never done that before. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever forced a cop to repair my tires mid-police chase. But that might have to go on the list of things to do because that actually works surprisingly well. We are back in business with this car. We just have to lose them. And I almost lost them if the AI didn't turn into me and uh, cost me to slam headfirst into a tree. You know, call me Sergio Perez with the amount of... Uh... <laughs> With the amount of crashes I'm having these days. But all right. Got some Porsches on us. We got some... Uh, I think I saw a Lotus back there too. I'm not entirely sure, but... We'll come down here like this. All we got to do is outdrive them. We outdrive them. We outsmart them. We make more money than them. That is the goal. Whew. All right. I'm turning down here. Honestly, my entire plan right now is to just head to areas that act kind of like a racetrack. And one of those areas is down here in the river. Because we can kind of just hit some insane maneuvers. You guys are going to have to take my word for it for now. But we have a plan. Come up. Spin down. Like this. Here we go. All right. We'll hit the booster. Get as much speed as we possibly can. And we are going to hit a jump. And this jump is behind me. I did not do it properly. Hang on. We got to... <laughs> We got to spin around. How do I get down? How do I get down there? How do I get down there? Whoa, where is it? All right. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Bear with me. Unless they don't see me. Unless they don't see me. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. I hear sirens, but I don't see any cops directly on me. Let's get out of here. Dude, wait. Okay. I was going to flip around and hit a different jump that was behind me, but I think I'm away. I actually think I'm away because I still hear sirens, but I think they're in the docks. Not the docks, like the river. I can't speak today, dude. I'm, I'm stressing. <laughs> I'm stressing trying to make money, man. All right. I'm motion motivated. Dude, I think we're actually good. I think we're good. I I'm going to I'm gonna get off of the road, though, just in case they get spotted by a cop responding. We'll come back here. This seems like a good as a good place as any to leave the car. We'll park it up. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a $10 million formula car successfully stolen. Kind of, I guess. I'm not sure what you call it when you have to stop the chase, hold the cop at gunpoint, and force him to repair the tires that he shot out. But whatever. Never done that before. I do kind of want to do it again. That was pretty funny. We have one car left remaining, and I think the guy said it's like 20 million bucks, and it's the flying like hover car. I have used that one before too. Um, it's kind of bad, I'm not gonna lie, but it is worth a lot of money. So I'm gonna get out of this ridiculous outfit, and we're gonna head back down there and steal the last car of the day all right i got a car and i'm here at the dealership for the final 20 million dollar hover car i also got a little something else to help me because i wasn't sure if there was going to be security or you know a ton of cops i got the biggest gun i own <laughs> I got an LFG. So we're going to go in there. We're going to hold him at gunpoint, get keys to the hover car and, uh, and, you know, fly away, I guess. So here we go like this. The cops aren't going to stand a chance. And as long as he doesn't see me come in, we should be fine. Heads up. I'm back for the car, baby. No. And this time I got a freaking LMG. Now, listen, I was kind of hoping you were going to have security guards here. You know, I, was, I, I want someone to shoot, but you know, whatever. Come here. Give me the keys to it. And uh, I'll be out of your hair forever after stealing $40 million of cars from you. So don't move. Don't move, please. I'm going to get in it. Oh, I'm going to unlock it first. Hang on. There we go. Now I'm going to get in it and I'm going to go. And sir, I appreciate your cooperation today. Have a lovely day. He has the car. Go now. now. What is that? Why is he on radio? He has the car. Go huh? Huh? Oh, uh, there's two. There's two. Okay. How do I turn it on? There we go. Turn the car on. Um, I don't have machine guns on this thing. Oh no. Okay. I was kind of like, oh, they have guns though. All right. I don't have guns, but they do. How do I fly this thing? How do I? Bro, oh, they're popping my tires. Luckily, I don't need them. Okay, this is not what I was expecting at all. Um, I'm being shot at, and I don't really know what to do because I... Oh, 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 stop, stop. There's two police helicopters. Okay, I was like, I, I was honestly stunned. I was stunned because I, he just kind of goes on the radio and says, he has the car go now. <laughs> It's like, what does that mean? Are they gonna they're gonna pop out of nowhere in their freaking cop cars? Oh yeah, they're not happy though. They are not happy. I have an idea. I did bring an LMG. I'm very, very thankful I brought the LMG. Can we put the I'm trying to put the, the things down, dude? I'm trying to put the things down. Uh-oh. Hang on. Bro, I have to get to a point. I need to be able to shoot them down. 
Okay, this is not the spot to do that. This is not the spot. This is not the spot. We're about to die. We're about to die. We're about to die. Okay, I need to find a good location to where I can hop out of the car and light them up. You know what? The ranch. This is perfect. Wait, not the ranch. Not the ranch. The, the ranch is a bad idea. The forest is an amazing idea because we can take cover in the trees and just shoot up through them without dying, dude. Please, 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 please. This thing is pretty bulletproof, though. I'm kind of surprised. I, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm very pleased with it. So we're going to hop out like this. All right, hop out here. Hop out here. Blast them. Blast one guy. This one. Here we go. Take the other helicopter. Try to get the guy on the sides, dude. That's the that's the biggest problem. Oh, he's smoking. He's smoking. Where's the other helicopter? Oh, there he is. Take him down, dude. Take him down. Oh, reload, 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 reload. I am covered in bullets. Covered in bullets. Thank God I wore armor. Thank God I wore armor. What is that? What is that? Okay. All right. Where are they? Take him out, dude. Take him out. This is so bad. Okay, you know what? They're getting pretty close to killing me. They're getting pretty close to killing me. And I think there's a there is a guy. Oh, yeah, there's a guy on an oppressor. So we're going to hop back in this thing and we're going to fly. And for some reason, the wheels are now down. That's not what I wanted beforehand. But okay. All righty. We are going to continue flying and then we're going to reposition in a separate area. And that is where we're going to try to take them out for the, the last and final time. This is a good spot right here. This is a good spot. Here we go. Land here into the tree line into the tree line it's gonna be hard for them to see us we're gonna hop out where are they the target tar to the, the grass is in the way the grass is i can't see oh boy oh why would you land that was a stupid decision that was so stupid oh another one another one another one another one okay i got the guy on the side blow him up blow up blow up blow up he's not blowing up okay i think he's dead are they all dead there's still the guy the owner on the oppressor yeah, okay, they're all dead. They're all dead. Where's the guy on the motorcycle, dude? Where's the guy on the motorcycle? Let's blow this thing up for cinematic effect. And there's the owner. There's the owner. There we go. We got him. Oh my God, dude. What on earth just happened? I, oh no, I got to get in. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. All right, we got to, we got to leave. We got to leave. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the wheels on fire. All right, dude. I was going to say, I don't know how on earth we survived. Oh, there goes the helicopter. And our engine light is on, which is not super surprising. All right, we're going to put more armor on. I am very surprised that we survived that. If I didn't have armor, there was no way. I got shot like six or seven times. My health was pretty low. I did bring a med kit. I only brought one and I didn't use it while I was flying, which was pretty, pretty risky. But you know what? We shot down two helicopters. We killed the owner who decided to chase after us on an oppressor. I don't even know where he got that or how much that thing cost, dude, but whatever. This warehouse is filled with super cars worth over 30 million dollars and in today's video i'm gonna try to steal every single one without being caught except there's one problem the warehouse is filled with security cameras sensors and guards so it's not gonna be easy so make sure to stick to the end to see what happens all right so the warehouse is supposed to be right in front of me to the left and already off the bat, I see some guards. However, I think since it's on the docks, yeah, I think there's a way to access it through the water. All right, I'm on the building across the street from the warehouse. All right, let's see. We have a guard out front. We got a couple of cars. I don't think these are the cars he was talking about, though. I think these are like their security cars. Uh, I'm assuming that the cars are in the bigger area down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a jet ski really quickly, and I'm going to go around the side, and I'm going to see if I can get an eye on some of these supercars that are supposed to be here. All right, I have a jet ski, and at the back of the warehouse now i'm gonna try to get a view of some of these cars and right here i can see that we have a mclaren and a ford gt and we got a couple other cars but i can't really tell what they are from here you know what let me hop up i'm gonna try and go uh steal one of them right now let's come around the side maybe not around the side because there is a guard right there you know what you know i'm gonna go through this way i might have to take the guard out but not really worried about that right now so let's hop off into the water and as sneaky as i can i want to get up there take out the guard lock pick one one of the cars and just drive away because this one is probably gonna be the easiest one because they have no idea that i'm coming let's pull our pistol out let's sneak up this way all right here we go let's come across here make sure no one's in that room and let's take him out on the count of three three two one 
right, there we go. All right, I don't want anyone to see his body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him into this room, which is kind of suspicious, kind of sketchy room, not gonna lie. I uh, don't know what they do in here. I'm gonna try to avoid this room at all costs. But there was a guard out front. I don't think he heard the suppressed shot. So let's just continue to move in. We're here and oh my goodness. Yeah, we here we go. This is the gold mine, dude. Look at this. We got a Lamborghini. We have, what is, is this a gold plated Bugatti Devo? We have a Supra. We have a McLaren 765LT, 4GT, McLaren P1, and a, like a what is this? Bugatti Atlantic, I think it is. Dude, all right. This is a good start. This is a very, very good start. But you know what? I think I'm going to start with the Lambo because why the heck not? So let's come over here here and yeah okay it is locked i just wanted to make sure we'll hack into it and then we're just gonna drive away if the front gate is not unlocked i'm screwed i'm just dead this is probably not gonna be a video uh <laughs> So we'll see. Looking for 3NV3. Here we go. Found it here. There we go. Vehicle unlocked. So we're going to hop in it. We're going to turn it on. And boom, car number one is in our hands. We just need to get out of here. Please tell me this is open. There's a guard right here. I don't know if he's noticing that. He didn't He didn't even move. <laughs> he might be AFK. He might have been AFK. Oh my goodness. All right, dude. We have this Lamborghini Aventador. Oh my goodness. This thing is so nice, dude. This thing is so, so nice. So car number one been successfully stolen. I'm going to stash this and I'm going to head back down to the warehouse for car number two. Okay, I'm coming back in the area of the warehouse. That one went very, very, very well. Big fan of that. So what I'm going to try to do is recreate it. I'm just going to try to get access to it, hop in another car and drive away, hopefully without too many issues. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go through the water again, though. I feel like that's going to be a little bit sketchy. I kind of just want to, I don't know, like I kind of just want to go through a different way, but I don't know if I can because like this area not gonna go through there i don't know if that's gonna work you know what i think i'm gonna do this is gonna be kind of stupid i'm gonna get on the bridge up there i'm just gonna parachute off and i'm gonna land on the roof and just execute the plan i think it's gonna work all right i'm climbing up the bridge i think i'll have plenty of height so once we get up to the top we're just gonna jump off infiltrate the base or the warehouse and go from there so here we are oh no 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 no, no, no. don't fall <laughs> okay all right here we go count of three we're gonna jump off and parachute down there so three two one one I'm gonna pull our chute and we're just gonna coast yeah i'm just gonna parachute onto the roof right there hop down get in the car and drive away once again yeah i just want to land on the roof like right here there we go Ow. all right we just gotta get down let's pull our gun out i think we can just hop down here and then hop down again so hopefully no one sees me that's just an npc so we're fine hop down one more time here we go. That worked perfectly. Move to the cover right here. Oh, I think there's a guard on the door. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to take him out. I want to go for that Bugatti Atlantic. That thing is super, super nice. Let's take the guard out. Here we go. Is there any more? Did he see that? Oh, okay. There was a second guard. He did see that. But you know what? He Nobody else got a shot off. So we're going to do it. We're going to lock pick into the car and drive away once again. All right, here we go. We're looking for OB7W. Can't find it. Where is it? <laughs> where is it? Hello? Bro, where is it? There we go. Oh my God, last second. It was reversed. Here we go. We're going to hop in the car and we're going to drive away. Car is on. We are going to head out of here. And oh my God, the turning radius. Where did the guy go, by the way? He was just dead there a second ago. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's head out the front. Is someone in a car? Are they in the car? Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, my God. Oh, my God. Were they waiting? I heard someone rev an engine. Oh, they might have had people waiting in the cars. That would be mad smart, dude, because you know what? If they know I'm coming back to steal them, a couple of them just wait in their cars. The second they see me drive out, they can just immediately chase me. Yeah, because, oh, yeah, there's a there's a couple more. Uh, You know what? All good. All good. This car's not great, though. I'm not loving the Bugatti Atlantic. Kind of weird. It doesn't handle nicely. I think it is pretty fast, though. Then again, I'm pretty sure these are a Mustang Dark Horses behind me and uh i don't know a lot about mustangs besides the fact that they get attracted to large groups of people but oh yeah yeah okay yeah very aggressive drivers <laughs> but i know that these ones are insanely fast do you know what bugatti atlantic we're gonna just hit the straight and we're gonna hope and pray that it's faster than that thing because those things look mean dude they look so mean uh but yeah okay it looks like we're pulling away from them the issue is if i want to hop off of the highway i gotta slow down a ton to take these corners just look at this 
Look at this. There we go. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, if you are enjoying the video so far, it'd mean a lot if you'd leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm coming up on 500k and subscribing is free. You can always unsubscribe later. So you may as well hit the sub button if you like these videos and want to see more of them. I have no idea if I have escaped. That might have just been the greatest play of my entire life. I was too busy yapping about hitting the sub button. I think I'm I think I'm away because this car is insanely fast, dude. It's a rocket ship. Oh, yeah. Okay, one is still behind me. There's one guy that was able to catch up with me. He's been sticking to me. I think I lost everyone else, though. Uh, so we just got to continue on these straightaways, and we should be chilling. Let's look at this thing, dude. This thing is a beast. It's an absolute beast. But yeah look at the braking man the braking and the turning could definitely be better it feels like the car needs new tires that's like the best way to describe it uh it just feels like i have no grip but here we go come down this way i still hear him man i still freaking hear him but we're gonna put our head down we're gonna focus and we're gonna get out of here dude this car is worth a ton of money and i would love to add this to my collection <laughs> oh careful of the tree there we go we're gonna head back up onto the highway and head back into sandy try to juke him out a little bit with the plays so here we go sorry sir gonna pass Pass you there and we're gonna just continue heading straight also another comment i've been getting a lot of is to tell me to stop looking back here's the issue with that if i only look forward they're either gonna pit me or i'm not gonna know if they're still behind me so i gotta keep looking back i gotta be on my defense you know i gotta be on my game to make sure i know exactly where the cops are at all times but you know what i will agree it does make me crash probably about 60 percent of the time so i'll try to cut back on it but you know what i think now it's safe to say we lost the cops so i'm gonna do a pull off into grape seed up here and then all we're gonna do is is stash the car and then everybody's going to be up here in sandy shores like all of the guards so sneaking into the warehouse again should kind of be pretty easy assuming i can get back down there in time but i just want to make a note really quickly i have successfully stolen two cars without a single scratch on any of them that might be a record i haven't scratched it at all not on the chase not leaving the warehouse the first time i'm just getting better you know i've been practicing all right here we go we're pulling into my favorite stash spot here in sandy no one is going to find the car Pull it in here and boom car number two has been successfully stolen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back down to the city and i'm gonna go for car number three and honestly dude i'm just moving through these and i have an idea for car number three that i think is actually gonna work pretty well all right i am back down in the city and you guys can probably tell what plan number three is i have a tugboat here and there's just enough space on the back of it to park one of the cars so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna back into the warehouse because there's a little space for it drive the car onto the tugboat and drive the tugboat off into the sunset uh this thing is insanely slow so if they have boats or something to chase me i'm done for i'm screwed but you know what we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that this works all right so here we go i need to back it in i think i'm gonna go for the ford gt i think the ford gt makes the most sense it's a little bit shorter so hopefully uh it will work better i'm also not seeing any guards in the actual warehouse part either so that's also good just give me about 15 minutes to back this thing up because oh Oh my god bro this thing is painfully slow all right here we go 30 minutes later <laughs> I'm finally pulling the tugboat in. There we go. We're going to park it here and we're going to pull one of the cars on. All right, down here. Let's get our gun out just in case. You know what? Let's hop up. Oh, that worked so well. Oh my God, this was working so well. We're going to come over to this car, use our electronics kit to hack in, grab it on the tugboat, bada bing, bada boom. However, if anybody comes and sees me right now, I'm definitely dead. These guys are going to kill me. I don't think these guys are cops. They do have like cop cars, but I'm not entirely sure. Here we go. Vehicle unlocked. Hop in. Turn it on. And drive it on to the tugboat. Boom! Wait. I mean, we could fit a second one. That kind of seems like it's just getting greedy. So you know what? We're just going to take one. All right. Now all we're going to do is drive away with the car on the back. And they are none the wiser. I mean, there's two people standing up on top of the balcony. But those honestly might be NPCs. Dude, this plan was actually probably one of my better plans. Like, this was actually genius. That's why I wear the mask. It's got to protect my brain because it is so large and valuable. Dude, honestly, I am very, very happy with that. That was super, super good. So I'm going to stash this over here somewhere in the water. I'll come come back for it later but you know what car number three has been successfully stolen all right at some point i'll come with the cargo bob and i'll pick this up but for now we're leaving this here so i'm gonna head to a clothing store because my next one i'm going to go in there and try to steal a car dressed as one of the guards okay I changed my outfit and i'm back over here by the warehouse i'm basically just gonna walk in and pretend to be a guard gain access to whatever room they keep the keys in head to the back get in the car and drive away all right this is the goal i mean their, their outfits are pretty easy to replicate it's kind of just a black suit with an earpiece oh yeah and they're 
there is a guard out front. So again, we're gonna have to schmooze our way in. Here we go. Hey, how's it going there, buddy? Yo, hey, what's up? Just, uh, sorry, a little late to work today. Anything interesting happen? Uh, the few cars were snatched off our hands, but uh, I think we have it under control. Okay, so, so the one day I come late to work, you guys like cars get stolen. Nice, nice. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, I think you're in trouble. Good to know. Hey, gentlemen. How's it going? How's it going? All right. So they're playing pool. One guy's playing darts. You know what? That's perfect, which means not a lot of people are going to be paying attention to me. I'm assuming there's... Oh, there's a guy in here. Bro, how many guards are there? Okay. You know what? If I had to bet, I'd say the keys are probably in here with this with this guy. He's probably the boss. Hey, how's it going, boss? Uh, good. What do you need? Listen, we got a we got a little issue outside uh, in, the, in the warehouse with the cars. I don't know. We want to come take a look at it. Uh, what kind of issue? It looks like it's just some weird stuff going on like i don't know if someone's trying to like sneak in or, or some stuff man but i like i or sorry sir not man i i think we should take a look what do i pay you for you go look at it listen I, i'm i already looked but i just need you to clarify i needed you to make sure fine you can't do it yourself i'll go do it myself okay okay well, listen, listen i i came what do i pay any of you, you guys don't do anything around I, that's what i was saying because i was talking to, i was talking to, to jim bob right and he was saying that you guys had some cars get stolen it's like the one day i come late to work you know you know what i'm gonna go fire jim bob right now oh now that you mentioned i hate that guy yo jim Bob. Okay, I guess there's a guy that works your name, Chip Bob. Fire. But Bro, oh my what? god, oh my god, he, that, that's not even who I was talking to. That's not even who. Okay, you know what? You know what? They're busy. They're busy. They're busy. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna steal the keys. Oh my god, they're yelling at each other. All right, I got the keys. I got the keys. I got the keys. Dude, I just had some random guy get fired. That's not even who I was talking to. You know what? It's I fine. Know what, I, what I do? We got the keys. Smoking weed on the job. Oh my god. That was you're a terrible employee. You're ugly. Oh, I feel bad. It's my first day. I feel bad. It's his first day. I feel bad. You know what? I got keys. I don't know what keys I got, though. So let's just come over here. We're going to stand in the middle, and we're going to unlock one and see which keys we grabbed. We got keys to the Supra. Okay. You know what? This is definitely good. This is definitely good. All right. We're going to hop in the car. There we go. We're going to turn it on with the keys. And oh. I fired Jim Bob. What are you, what are you talking about here? What needs done? Oh. Well, hey, what are you doing in the car? I'm just taking it for a spin. Test drive. Make sure it's still working for the boss. No. 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 Get out of the car. You're going to get us all fired. No. Listen. Listen. Jim Bob. Like, just tell him it was Jim Bob. You want to go with Jim Bob? No. Just tell him it was Just tell him it was Jim Bob. Just tell him it was Jim Bob. Just tell him it was Jim Bob. Oh, I think they're about to chase me. Oh, there's a guy with a gun. There's a guy with a gun. There we go. Okay, we're in a Toyota Supra. This thing is actually pretty nice. Not going to lie. Big fan of this thing. You know what we're going to do? Watch this, watch this, watch this. <laughs> oh, he saw me. He saw me. I didn't think he saw me. Oh, uh-oh. There we go. Oh, don't scratch the car. I've scratched not a single car in this video. There's no scratches still. I haven't scratched a single one. I'm not trying... <laughs> no, he ruined my streak. Oh my God, bro. He ruined my no scratch streak. Then again, I actually can't see it on this car. And they're getting Give kind of aggressive. All right, there's the scratch. That's definitely a scratch. Okay. They are not happy about what I am doing in today's video. <laughs> then again, I've stolen like $3 million worth of cars so far. If I were them, I wouldn't be happy either. There we go. Let's honestly just try to lose them. This car is not insanely fast. But you know, oh, big crash from one of them back there. All right. And I just, oh, okay. honestly, this car is actually not very, uh, it's not super super prone to scraping, which is nice. It saves me a lot of money on paint work. But anyways, I was saying this car is not super fast, but it handles pretty nicely. Uh, except for that. Not sure what that is, but we're good. We're good. Oh, and that's definitely a big dent. I'm gonna have to replace that headlight. Oh no. You know, I'll juke him out. Let's head onto the highway up here. Bro, this car is not fast. This car is not fast at all. Watch out for the wall. Is that a helicopter? No, okay. That's an AI. <laughs> I thought they were chasing me with the helicopter. Oh my goodness, dude. I was trying to head off of that jump. Are oh, they okay? All right, they're getting aggressive. They are getting very, very aggressive. I see a third one of them too. So it's getting a little risky, but head down, mind focused. This car, not great. I'm gonna be fully honest. It's not loving it so far. It's nice. Oh, that's my fault right there, but he was gonna slam into me. So it kind of worked for the best. Excuse me. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Oh my God, bro. They are getting very, very aggressive. I know they want the car back. But they keep hitting me. There's not going to be any car to recover. Jeez. Right, let's head to the airport area. I think uh, over here could be kind of good. Oh my God, bro. They are way faster than me. They are so much faster than me. Get back the bus car. No, you're the one. You're denting it. You got to explain the damage to him. Let's come in this way. Here we go. There we go. Immaculate driving. W waff loose. That's why the W is there. There we go. Oh my God, bro. Why was that fence so hard to break down? I was thought I could just go through it. Out of the car. Stop hitting me. Jeez. 
All right. Oh my God! Look, they're pitting each other. They're pitting each other. What are they doing? What are they doing? Please open. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Oh, this is so so bad. I can get out of this. Out of the car. No, I didn't do anything. I deserve this car. I deserve the. Oh you no. You are so fired. I I don't even work here. What? I don't. No, don't. Oh no, I gotta get out. Give it back. Listen, guys, listen, listen. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is. All right, this is bad. This is bad. It's not a big deal. It's not like there's way bigger deals. This is so bad, man. Look how many of them there are. I gotta go up here. I gotta go up here because there's no other options. I'm gonna have to get in a shootout because what am I supposed to do in this situation? What am I supposed to do? Got one. Got two. Go up this ladder. Here we go. Climb up. Climb up. Please don't get shot right now. Please don't get shot. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh my God. I was so close to making it. All right. All right. You know what? We had success with three cars. It was only about time that we'd fail. Yo, I got him. All right. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm probably also going to go to jail. I don't think these guys are cops, but I still think they're going to turn me in. So, you know, we'll, we'll cut to, to that and then we'll go back and try to recover this car somehow. Not sure how that's going to work. All right. I'm out of the hospital and prison, I guess, because I, I did go to jail. I'm coming over to MRPD. This is normally where they keep cars for investigations because this is pretty much like the detective's uh, head quarters here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna try and go in there take the car back and drive away assuming i can actually do it it's gonna be amazing so we're gonna park this car back here so i don't lose it and i'm not really trying to like talk my way out of this one so if i see any cops in there i'm just gonna wipe them up real quick hop in the car since i have keys and drive away because uh, that l i took in the last one all right that, that stung a little bit i'm not trying to recreate that there we go we're gonna move it down below looks like the door's open though or oh, this side is one open no, this one's closed. Okay. Dude, every single time I'm here, the door is open. So, you know what? I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, who? Okay, whoa. We got one cop by the car guarding it. And then we got another cop by the window there. I don't see anyone else, but I mean, doesn't mean there could be someone in one of these cars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there. I'm going to kill the guy by the car. I'm going to then kill the guy by the window. And then we're going to be good. So, here we go through here. One. Ah, oh, two. There we go. That was kind of brutal. <laughs> <laughs> that was so brutal. But you know what? We got the car. We're going to hop in it. We have keys. We're going to turn it on. And we're driving away. Hopefully, no one heard that or anything like that. But boom, the very broken Supra A90 has been successfully stolen. So car number four is a win. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stash this at a mechanic shop. I will fix it up at a later date. And we're going to head back down to the warehouse for car number five. And it will require me to head to another clothing store. All right, and for this next one, I am dressing up as a fake cop. The idea is I am going to go down there and basically try to investigate it as a fake cop to gain access to the room with the keys in it. I'm then going to steal the keys and leave. It's pretty simple. Uh, there could be other cops there. I think it's pretty unlikely though. So I'm going to head down to the warehouse right now and we are going to get going on car number five. All right, here we go. All right, I was wrong about it being unlikely there's no cops here. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're going to have to schmooze our way into it a little bit, but it's all good. We're going to just park our car here. No big deal. All right, basically, all I'm going to do is come up here and basically just try to gain access to it to grab the keys. How's it going, gentlemen? How's it going? Pretty good. What about you? I'm doing good. Uh, Detective Sanchez, LSPD. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just here to do some investigating on the uh, the car thefts as well. Uh, I'm just going to gain access to the to the building, see if there's any, any evidence in there. Is there anything I need to know about in there? You know, like where the keys are located, like everything like that? Uh, it should be upstairs, I think. Upstairs? Okay. Top floor. All right. Thank you, officer. The uh, office. Sir. The yeah. office. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, keep keep taking their statements. Did he transfer in? Did he transfer in? Okay. You know what? They didn't recognize me. Not necessarily a bad thing, but it does give me a limited time to steal the keys before they catch on that I am, in fact, not a real cop. So we're going to come through here. Open the door, please. And thank you. Come over here. We're going to grab the keys out of the desk drawer. Here we go. And then all we're going to do is come out to the back of the warehouse, hop in one of the cars and drive away. I think today for this one, I feel confident I'm taking the gold plated Devo. Here we go. Unlock it. Hop in the car, turn it on, and drive out. Not give them any time to be suspicious of me or wondering what I'm doing. All right, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Have a nice day. Oh, one of them's already into the car. He was quick with that. He was quick with that. Oh, and I'm getting shot at too. Okay, all right. The security guard's definitely not happy that I stole a gold-plated Bugatti from them. Who cares though? Because we got this thing. 
We got this. Oh my God. I recovered it so well and he ruined it. Listen. Hey, hey. Yep. I recovered that crash so well and you just ruined it by hitting me. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, you owe me money. There we go, dude. Oh my God. Stop, bro. This thing is gold. This thing is mad expensive. It's also probably really heavy. I got an idea. I got a couple ideas actually. We're gonna come down this way. Cut through here. Right? Whoa, this car is not good on the dirt. It's pretty nice on the road. The dirt, however, not what it is made for. Bro, the amount of damage that one hit by the cop did, man. That's insane. Like, I did so good at recovering that. But it's fine. I got an idea. This is totally going to mess him up. We're going to come down this way. I'm going to hit the bridge jump. It's one of my favorite jumps in the entire game. I always look forward to hitting it, assuming I don't go into the water, which is always a possibility, but who cares it's uh because if, if i can hit it properly i will escape so here we go we're gonna line it up and dude i just hope you can do this oh he's blocking it off oh, all right i guess we're not doing the bridge jump i guess we're not doing that all right here we go that jump did not work they blocked me off i thought he was gonna move out of the way uh he did not so that plan not really functional i wish these guys would stop freaking hitting me though like geez i mean they're crashing too though so honestly not terrible for me let's just stay on the straightaways and just hit it just gun it down the road and try to escape as quickly as possible with as little damage to the car besides the stuff that's already on it all right onto the highway here we go we got to be careful with it because this car is definitely really really fast but that means i, I got to be careful on the corners and on the turns and stuff like come down here that there we go opposite lanes of traffic and we're just going to continue to go as quickly as possible up here up and around here we go onto this off ramp excuse me and we're going to come up this way i still hear them i think they know where i am still here we go let's actually quad cross over right here i think they're still trying to catch me i just don't see them they're not directly behind me right now i uh boy there we go that could have been a lot worse that could have been a lot lot worse you know let's just hit straight let's come up onto the great ocean highway this is a good spot to lose them because there's a couple of good turnoffs over here that will definitely be beneficial to the escape like right over here this little country club looking thing if there's no one directly behind me we can come in here hit a left and then park the car back here where it is not visible from the road. We're going to turn it off. And ladies and gentlemen, car number six has been successfully stolen. And yes, I know there is some damage to it, but it's not that bad. It could be, I, I mean, it's, I, I don't know if it could be worse, to be honest with you. This thing is in rough, rough shape. But the gold-plated Bugatti Devo is a win. So I'm going to switch up my outfit, head back down. I believe we have two more cars. I think we have the McLaren P1 and the McLaren 765. LT. And I'm looking forward to stealing both of those. So let's do that now. All right, I am back here at the docks. And as you guys can see, I'm directly across from the warehouse. The plan for this one is to use my scuba gear to swim up there. And then basically all I have to do, hop in the red McLaren and drive away. I think this one's going to be pretty simple. Uh, then again, you never know. But I feel confident because dude, look at me. Like I'm basically like a seal. All right. I'm, I'm a shark. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm stealthy like that. So we're going to swim up without anybody seeing us, hop in the car without anybody seeing us and drive away and escape them before they have any choice of uh what, what's going on so here we are at the warehouse i think i have to go up in the ladder on the side i think this is uh yeah right here we'll climb up this way here anybody see that i don't think so i don't see any guards in there either so we're gonna take off our scuba equipment and i'm going for the p1 that is the goal for this one let's come up over here all right yeah i don't see anyone i mean i'm guessing they're probably just guarding the only exit it's like what's the point of guarding this if i can just not drive out the front you know, so we got to be a little bit cautious here, but we're going to come up here. We're going to lock pick into the McLaren. I'm also starting to kind of think that the two times I've broken into the office and stolen the, the keys, I should have just taken all of them. But you know what? I like to make things harder on myself for some reason. I'm looking for UB, GB. Where is it? U, uh, right here. There we go. Vehicle unlocked. We're going to hop in, turn it on. And Mr. 765 LT, I am coming back for you later. And here we go. Oh, yeah. There's guards out here. They're waiting for me. But they didn't shoot at me. But uh, we're good. And I think there's an undercover cop right there too. But it's fine. It's all good. Honestly, can I try pulling off from him? Oh, no, I can't. He's right on me. I thought I had way more room on him. All right, dude. I hear a helicopter. Is there... Oh, there's a helicopter. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's a buzzard. There is a military freaking helicopter. Oh, no. Oh, that is not... That is the opposite of good. Where'd he go? Oh, I see him. He's back there. Okay. We got to lose him before uh, he kills us. Yeah, you're not going to pit me. You're not going to pit me. Oh, my goodness. Get ramped. 
get absolutely rammed by the p1 guys i know i've already said it this video but please we're coming up on 500k so if you like these videos please hit the sub button it helps me out makes me want to make more of them and it helps out the channel and we're getting shot at bro oh my god oh my it's getting close it's getting close dude dude <laughs> This is intense. This is way more intense than I was hoping for this one. I thought this was going to be a freebie. Where'd he go? Oh, bro. He's still behind me, man. He's still behind me. You know, let's come up here. We're going to hit the highway. Dude. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Oh, he shot a tire out and the engine stalled. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. That is bad. That is bad. Turn on. Turn on. Oh, my God. Why is the engine turning on? Dude, the engine turned on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, okay, I can get it. 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 Dude, please. Oh, no, my God, bro. Oh, my God. That was so brutal. Dude, I guess they'd rather kill me than save the car. All right, that was uh, that was not good. All right, that was probably the worst L I've taken in years. <laughs> Dude, I kept trying to turn the engine on and it's just, I, I blew up. All right. It is, it's kind of my fault. I should have hopped out of the car, but realistically I was dead there anyways. Uh, there's no recovering that car. That car is gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write that one off as a loss. I'm going to head back down to the city and I'm not playing around anymore. I am going in there and stealing the 765 LT. I'm just going in. I'm killing every single one of them that gets in my way. So let me, let me grab a car and let me head down there right now. Right, I'm back down at the docks. I am going in. I have my gun. I have my armor. I'm not playing around anymore i'm just going straight through the front straight through the front and there's a guard up top you know what don't care if there's a guard up top oh he might care though he might care here we go here we go oh oh Oh, I got him. I got him. I got hit. I'm gonna put more armor on. All right, let's equip more armor, and then we're gonna continue to move through. I think there's just NPCs left on the balcony, so I'm probably fine there. I'm gonna move through the building. I'm gonna grab the keys to the last one, and I'm gonna continue to move out. So here we go. Move through. Come into the front door. Anybody in here? Got one. All right. Dude, I killed him so hard, he turned into a different guy. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, we're gonna move up the stairs into the office where we're gonna grab the keys. See, is anybody up here? Uh, oh! Oh, I think that's bulletproof. Okay, so this is this bulletproof? It's actually good for me. <laughs> hey, buddy! Oh, where did you go? Oh my god, you were not standing there a second ago. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. All right, we're in the office. I think he was guarding the keys. So let's crouch down here. Here we go. Let's grab the last keys to the McLaren. There we go. We got them. And then all we got to do is I think I heard people out back. All right, dude, we're coming down the stairs. I think there's people outside. So let's honestly, let's close this door. And then shoot it. Oh, okay. I know where one is. Oh, he's on the side. And there's another one right here. There we go. Got one. Shout. I see him. Did I kill him? I don't... Oh, I didn't kill him. There we go. There I go. I got him. 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 All right. Hop in the car. Not waiting around. Get in the McLaren. The final car of the day. Turn it on and leave. And I don't think there is anyone left to chase me. Unless there's cops here. If there's cops here, I'm screwed. But I don't hear anybody. I don't see anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know what car number this is. But we have successfully stolen almost every single car of the day. All right. We lost one. Uh, well, we lost two, but I was able to recover one of them. So that doesn't count. You know, I got him. That is a pretty good success rate. I am very, very happy with that. And as long as I'm free and clear and there's no military helicopter this time, I I am going to continue to drive this around for a little bit. I'm going to stash it in my warehouse. But guys, I'm very happy with this video. We made a ton of money today. Today, I'm opening a fake car dealership here at GTA 5. Except the twist is I have a tracker on every single one of these cars. And after I sell them, we're going to be stealing them back from their owners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweet out saying the dealership is open. And we're going to see how much money we can possibly scam today. All right, so I just tweeted out. I said Sunrise Autos is now open. I also changed my name to Timothy, and I'm not dressed in my normal outfit because I've done this a couple of times, and I have a feeling if people see that it's me, they're going to know something's up. So I'm going undercover today on the server, but we're just going to wait around, wait for our first couple customers to show up, and hopefully it can uh, it goes pretty well. We got a bunch of super nice cars. These are all vehicles that I either personally own or have stolen in other videos, but if we can get people to give us like $200,000, $300,000 for some of these cars, and then we steal them back, dude, we're up like multi, multi millions of dollars. 
So we got a couple people pulling up right now in this car. Pulled in here like maniacs, dude. I'm not going to do a voice. And the outfit should be enough to, uh, you know, distract them. Hello, guys. How are we doing? The nice dealership. What's going on? Sir, I'm Not that much. In uh, I'm interested in a... Uh... Oh, you're bo you both want a car? Yep. We're cash-only dealership. So, you know, we got a soup bunch of supercars. Does it not look like I have cash, my guy? You got cash? Does it not look like I got cash, my guy? I mean, look, I mean... Yeah, we're rich. You think we're poor? I, no, no, no. I don't think you're poor. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just, you take a lot... You, you know, take a look around, see what car you want, and then let me know. All right. How you doing, sir? Uh, as I said to these gentlemen, we are a cash-only dealership, so just take a look around, see what, you know, tickles your fancy, and uh, we can see if uh, we can make something happen. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right. I think the most expensive car I have... Sir. Oh, yeah. What's up? I think my eyes are on that McLaren right there. The blue one? You like the blue? Yeah, I like the blue. All right. That's, that's $275,000. All right. Cash. Okay. Okay. There is an ATM somewhere. I think you could probably go get cash. You think I don't have it on me, sir? It's in the trunk of my I car. Mean, hey, hey, hey. I don't know you. I don't know. You. I don't know that you got money like that. Let me go get the cash, sir. Okay. What about you, sir? What are you, what are you looking at? Before I buy a car, can I tell you a secret? Yeah. What's the secret? My brother that just went out. Uh-huh. He's actually broke. He can't afford a car. He's getting cash out of the... Is that your money he's taking? It's my money right there, yeah. Is your money? Okay, I don't care. Money's money to me. It's all green. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what, what car? What car's looking nice to you? What do you want? Uh, I like this. This carbon fiber with a Lambo right here. Okay. The, uh, the Aventador? It's 325K. Yeah, that's easy money. You got that? You got motion like that? Yeah. Hey, just go ahead, uh, grab the money, slide it over. You can have the keys and drive off with it. All uh, right, I got you. Sir. Oh, thank you, sir. I have 300K in cash right here. An extra tip for you. Oh, a tip? Oh, you know what? Hey, you're my favorite. You're my favorite customer. All right. Hey, is it my you're money in there too? Hey, there you go. Nah, nah. This is my money that I stole from the bank. What? Huh? Huh? You didn't hear anything. Huh? Am I good to go, sir, with my car? Hey, hang on, hang on. Here are the keys. Here are the keys. Take the keys. Good choice. I personally love this vehicle, sir. Uh, here they go. There are the keys. Have a sunrise day, sir. I stole that money, by the way. I don't care. It's mine now. It's cash, not taxable. All right. That was already 275K or 300 and something K. I don't know how much he gave me. All right. So I need the Testarossa. You want the Testarossa, the purple one? Yes, sir. All right, all right. How much is it? Um, I'll cut you a deal. Seemed like a nice guy. We'll do 400K for this one. 400K for the Testarossa. 400K for the Testarossa. All right, sir. You got a deal. Here you go. I got a deal. Oh, dude, you guys are stacked up. All right, come over here. Here are the keys to the car. You know, let me get the door for you. Let me get the door for you. There you go. Said my father was born in the 80s. Here, here, there are the keys for you. He would be so jealous. Have a lovely day, sir. Have a lovely day. You too. This car is stolen. <laughs> I do not own this car. That car was stolen directly from a gang, dude. Oh my God. But we're up so much money. Sir, let, let me let me take that box off your hands. Let me let me grab it. There's your box. I don't know if you've ever seen that much money at once. I I have, so I'm a billionaire. All right, go ahead. Uh oh, my bad. You know what? I think the keys are in. You should just hop in that one, drive off. Have a lovely day, sir. Thank you, sir. Lovely day. Seeing you later. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm evil. I am evil. Yeah, okay. So I stole the purple car from a gang. So that's kind of risky for him. This guy, you having trouble? You have to put it in drive, sir. Uh... You put it in drive and then you, you hit the, the, the pedal that's on the right a little bit and then you turn the wheel to the right. I'll be right with you, sir. So you're taking up space. Are you sure the keys are in here? I mean, the car's on. I hear it running. You figure it out. I'll talk to this guy. Listen, sir, we got uh, three cars left if um, if you're interested. However, um, we are a cash-only dealership. I'm not sure if, if you can afford these vehicles. I've got some cash. Oh, you can, are you one of those billionaires that likes to wear homeless fits? Yeah, why well, look rich when you can just uh, you know, secretly be rich? I mean, I look rich. Look at me. Yeah, but you're definitely not rich. I'll tell you that. Okay, sir. Look at the cars. All right, we got Ferrari, Tesla, and a Bugatti left. And this guy just right. finally figured out how to drive the Lambo. He probably should have sold a car to him. <laughs> he gave me cash. So you take a little look see around. This one is really peaking my fancy. Oh, you like the Roadster? Yeah. This is two hundred thousand dollars. That's that's nothing. That's pocket change. Why are all of you guys rich? Um, that that's something I need to know, and you shouldn't have to know, to be honest. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I can't. I can't disclose. Disclose, disclose. What do you do? Uh, I'm not allowed to. Come on. I, I'm not allowed to, honestly. All right, all right. It's probably something sketchy. Maybe. I mean, sir, you got two hundred thousand dollars in cash on you. You can, you know, I'll give you the, I'll give you the little key card to it, and you, you'll be on your way. That's fine. I'll do that. No test drives, by the way. That's fine. I'll take it. Okay. Well, give me the money. All right. Give me the money. There you go. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, here are the keys. Let me look at the door for you. Thank you. Oh, you just closed it on me. Hang on. Let me, let me get it again. There we go. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. And uh, there's another customer over here. So I will I'll be attending to him. Have a good day. I love doing this. Because every time I do it, people just come in here with loads of cash. And it makes it so easy for me. How's it going, sir? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing fan diddly tastic. As you can see, we only got a couple cars left. You know, we're selling like hot cakes. Oh, you're selling hot cakes too? No, no, no. We're selling like like hot it's a it, never mind oh okay it's an expression we got a bugatti over there and we got the ferrari right here you know it's um this one uh huh. Three hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Ooh. Cash only. This one down there, four hundred thousand dollars. I'm liking this one, dude. Uh, do you do trade-ins as well? As well? No, sorry, no trade-ins, sir. No trade-ins. Okay, okay. You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. I like this thing, man. I like the way it You'll looks. You'll do it. All right, three twenty-five. You got it. Here you are. Thank you very much. Keys are in it. Have a have a lovely day, sir. All right. Thank you for your service. Hello, sir. Oh, sir. How is? Um, we only have one vehicle left. You're a little late. We had a couple options earlier, but we have the two thousand nine. Bugatti Veyron over here. Lovely car. I personally own one of these myself. It is currently retailing for $415,000. Cash only. Paperwork is up to you. And um, the keys are in it if you're interested in buying. I am interested in buying, actually. I was in the market for a Bugatti. Really? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit older, but it's a classic. You can't, you know, you can't hate on it. It's a, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. So how much was it? Uh, 415K. But just for you, I'll give you a discount. We'll do 413,500. Okay. Hey, that's perfect. I mean, for a classic, that's worth it. Yeah, I know. I know it's a good deal. You know, it's a good deal. So just, uh, why don't you slide the cash over? The keys are in it. You hop in, drive away. Thank you very much. You're very much welcome. Have you been a diddly tastic day, sir? Skibbity toilet riz. All right. I don't know why I just said that. What the heck? Okay, I'm brain rotted. I'm actually, I'm done. All right, dude. Somehow we just offloaded the cars in 10 minutes. It has been exactly 10 minutes since I started recording and we're all done. We're all done. So let me tweet out. We'll say sunrise. Oh my God. Why am I walking around? Autos is now closed. Bro, what is going on with my chat? There we go. Oh my goodness. Let's turn that off. And why, why am I bent over? Get up. Get up. All right. That went extremely well. I don't even know how much money we made. It went so quickly. So if the editor could be so kind and put that number up on the screen now, that money's nice. But in order for us to actually turn a profit, we have to track these cars down and steal them back. And it's not going to be easy. So I think I'm going to pick one of the cars. I'm thinking I'm going to go for the McLaren. It's my favorite car in the collection. I'm going to go grab a cop car in a cop outfit. We're going to drive around, see if we can't find it. I mean, we definitely can. I have a tracker on it. And we're going to pull him over, hop out, arrest him, and steal the car. All right, I got a cop car, and I'm heading down to Legion Square because that's where the McLaren last pinged at. The idea for this one is pretty simple, and it's uh, it's pretty easy for the first one. I'm just going to pull the guy over, hold him at gunpoint, throw him in handcuffs, and then steal the car. Kind of the easiest low-conflict way to get the first one done before the cops on the server act she start to know what i am doing yeah and here it is i see it right there and oh my god bro what is he doing let's pull him over yep right in front of the bank here we go all right we're gonna hop out and let's put the plan into action hey, excuse me sir hello listen you're you're going around speeding i was test driving my new car i understand that sir but you know you, you can't be driving recklessly go ahead hop out let's have a chat back here oh okay that seems on to the sidewalk. Let's go. You think cause just because you got a fancy car, you can go around and, and drive all reckless? Yeah. Oh, really? Turn around. I bet you're never going to touch this car. Turn around. Okay. You're, you're under arrest. This is not... You are what? under arrest. What crime did I reckless commit, Reckless driving, sir. Reckless okay. driving. All right. Now, listen. Is the, Are the keys in the car? I'm going to search it. Uh, it's in the car. Okay. Hey, by any chance, do you recognize me? Wait, are you the dealership guy? I am the dealership guy. <laughs> you just got scammed. Please. You just no, got please. scammed. I was the vista, no, no, sucker. Please. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, dude, I could see the gears in his head spinning. He was like, why does this guy look inside familiar? But here we go. Car number one has been successfully recovered. I feel bad, but these guys are obviously millionaires if they're just walking into the dealerships and everything like that. So we're going to come around here. We are going to stash the car up and then we're going to go on a track car number two. We're going to go for the Bugatti next since it's one of the more expensive ones that I sold. So let me just come around here. We'll park this up over here. No one should find it i mean the guy doesn't have the tracker because uh you know he didn't really buy the car 
<laughs> so I'm gonna get my outfit switched up and we're gonna go down and try to track down the Bugatti. And I think I know how to do it. I think the best way to do it is to bait him into this one to give me an option to steal it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, I switched up my outfit. I am wearing my normal outfit now. Uh, so it could be a little suspicious, but the idea I have for this one is I'm gonna advertise the car wash as a supercar only car wash. That way the Bugatti or whoever else wants to come down, you know, we'll come by there. I will get in the car, bring it through the car wash. And instead of giving it back to them, I'm just going to drive away. I think it's a good idea. You know, I've done a mechanic shop before, but I've never done the car wash and I love scamming players. So... <laughs> This is, I, I'm looking forward to this one. So let's pull up here. And I'm hoping he's not going to be too suspicious by seeing me. But if he sees the car dealer that sold him the car, he's definitely going to be suspicious. So let's come up here. Here we go. Let's just park back here. There we go. I just put the tweet out for the car wash. So now all we're going to do is wait for one of the cars to come by. It might take a minute or they might not show up at all. But the tracker says he's just driving around in the city. So, it, you know, I'm pretty confident he's going to come by. Because who's going to pass up an opportunity for a car wash on their new car? Oh, dude, here's the Bugatti. Oh. Perfect. Hello, sir. Hello. Welcome to the Waffloose Car Wash. So listen, how this works is, you know, I'll, I'll hop in your car, bring you through the car wash. You know, I'll wax it, I'll shine it, I'll dry it off, everything like that. Add a little air freshener. And then it's $150 for the super car wash. And then you're you're good to go. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sounds good to you? All right, awesome. Is I uh, just want to leave the keys in there, hop out. I will go ahead and, and bring it around. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much. This is nice. Is this new? It is new. I recently just bought it. Oh, awesome. Okay. And uh, yeah, you just you can just watch on the left side. I'll just bring you through the car wash. Like, here we go. Dude, I've been kind of doing this for about 15 minutes. I had some random people show up and they're like AI cars. And I kind of had to do the same thing. Come over here. Oh, vehicle isn't dirty. Yeah, of course it's not. But he does not know that. And what he's also not going to know is that I'm just going to come through here. And he's never going to see this car again. <laughs> He's never going to see this car again. All right, let's go. We're just driving away. Let's go into Legion. Uh, he's probably going to call number one on me, but I want to stash this before the cops have a chance to show up. Okay. I... Yo. Okay. I was going to say, I, I hear cops. Stop the car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're here for me. I was I didn't know if they were here for me, but I should have known. Let's put our seatbelts on. Let's get out of here. Let's not crash the car either. Because the more scratches we have on this thing, you know, the less profit margin we have in the video. And I am trying to make as much money as possible. And guys, at the time of recording, I am 5K subs away from 500,000. And if you guys want to be in the under 500K club, make sure you leave a like and sub to the channel. I will be uploading multiple, multiple times a week coming up here soon. So if you love GTA 5 videos, hit the sub button but i gotta lose these cops really quick it's just one so far so that's that's good that is good we can lose one cop pretty easily i'm just gonna keep going in circles around the city so let's come down here excuse me past him let's go back onto the road I actually love this car. I have like two of these and it's one of my favorite cars in the entire server, but I hear that he's pretty far back. I think some of those, uh, oops, oops, oops. We're good. Okay. We actually didn't scratch the car at all. Never mind. We scratched the, oh, oh my gosh, the wrong side of it. Whatever, whatever. We're good. We're going back into Legion. This could be a bad idea because uh, there might be cops responding from around the city here. But, you know, let's see. Let's see. Let, let's, yeah, that's, that's what, oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. No, it's, I was, I was kind of... Oh, my God. There's another... Oh, that's my cop car. Uh, oh, shoot. I wasn't looking. I was like, oh, there's another one parked there, but that's from me. <laughs> that's my car. All right. Let's focus on driving. I think if I head to the highway, I can just gap them because I am in a Bugatti and they are in some, like, pretty bad cop cars. Let's come around here. How do I get on the highway from here? How do I... Yeah, dude, where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay. We got to come over here, take a right, and then take a left. All the highways are up here. All right. And then we're going to hit on to these on-ramp, hopefully without being spotted. Let's flip around. Right here. I don't think they know where I went because I am way faster than them. I am so much faster. I hear them driving around, but I'm going to head this way. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go south of the city. I think uh, I think they won't be looking for me down here. But dude, all right. Car number two has been successfully stolen. And I didn't really use the tracker that much on it. I kind of just waited for him. And I used, you know, the psychology of the player. You know, who's, who's going to turn down a car wash when someone opens it up on the server? You know, no one, especially if you just bought a brand new car. But unfortunately for him, it was Waffles that sold him this car and it is now back in my possession so i'm gonna stash this thing over at the docks and i think i know exactly how i want to steal car number three all right we are at the docks we're gonna pull it into the bug stars area 
Oh my God, there are so many vans. We'll hide it right behind here. And let's uh, let's get out and look at our car. You know, it's a little bit dented. It's, uh, you know, not too bad though. I am pretty happy with how this is going so far. We still have four more cars to steal today. And I have a feeling some of these are gonna get pretty crazy. So as always, make sure you guys stick around to the end to see what's gonna happen. Okay, I am on my way to the next car. I had something totally different in mind. I was gonna host a car meet, but I pinged the car and it's over here at Grove Street. And I initially stole the car from the Balas. So I'm kind of thinking that the guy that bought it is probably dead somewhere and the gang stole it back. So I got into a Bala NPC fit and I'm gonna come down here now. The plan is for me to kind of just go in here, you know, distract them, whatever I gotta do, hop in the car and drive away. But I might just act like an NPC. I have a voice changer too. So, you know, I... I I sound like a woman, you know, I'm a, I'm a very realistic female. I just want to be able to get to the car. I don't know where it is here. All I know is it pings in the general area and I'm seeing a whole lot of purple cars. This is also pretty dangerous because these guys shoot to kill. They're not like the cops. They don't really give you any chances. So I could play it off as an NPC. That could definitely be an option, but I might have to talk to them if the car isn't on the street. I'm not seeing it. We got a couple of muscle cars, a couple of sports cars. Looks like a Ford GT or something. That's not what I wanted. That's not my car. A Ford GT would be nice, but... Oh, it's not even, it's not even a real 4 GT. That is, <laughs> that's an AI version. There's a lot of people. I don't know who's real and who is an NPC though. I have no idea. I'm assuming the guy leaning. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Here's the car. Yeah. I don't think I can get there without, I mean, let me just, let me, let me pretend to be an NPC. Um, I don't think an NPC will walk over there, dude. Okay. You know what? We're going to put the voice change. You're on and we're going to talk to this guy. See if we can get to the car. Hey, how's it going? Hey, yo, hey, sweet cheeks. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. What that thing do back there, huh? Oh, hey, hey. Hey, I'm taking, I'm taking. This is a nice, is this your car? Yeah, this one back here. Yeah, this, yeah, let me show you. This is yours? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got it off some, some scum, dude, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so you must be rich, rich, huh? Yeah, you know what? I do what I can, sweet oh, cheeks, you know? Okay, listen, listen. My name, my name's Emily, okay? What's... Emily, nice to meet you. Call me Trey. Listen, Trey. Um, how about, how about this? I'm gonna take a look at the car if I like it. You know, maybe, maybe you can bring me. You know, we, we go on a little date. How about that? Yeah, yeah. I like the sound let of that. Just, let me look at the car though. Like, like, leave me be. I gotta make sure you're a high value man. Hey, hey. Do I look like anything other than that? I mean, your shoes are untied. You know what? I'm giving you this last chance, bitch. Oh. <laughs> That's so rude. All right. Oh, this is so dangerous. Cause he's a gun out. I saw a bullet gun. You know what? Let's hop in the car. Let's hop in the car. I don't think he saw that. Oh, he definitely heard that though. Oh yeah, they definitely heard that. They definitely heard that. Oh, go, 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 go. They're getting their cars. They're getting their cars. Man, what if, what if I had it right here? Maybe they didn't see me turn off. Oh yeah, they didn't see me. <laughs> oh, this guy did. This guy saw me. Oh, no. Okay. All right. We're going to chase. There's a lot of gang members chasing me, though, dude. Excuse me. And there I go. Hit, hitting another car. All right. Let's make sure seatbelt is on. Jeez. Move out of the way, please. Oh, no. The engine stalled. The engine stalled. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got one, two, three, four. Oh, whoa. This guy's fast. This guy is fast. Let's get our gun out. Oh, they're shooting. They're shooting. I'll shoot, too. Let me make sure I'm not going to die. Shoot at him. All right, dude. Emily plays no games. <laughs> Emily plays no games. Dude, I feel like that was not a believable thing. And the voice change is pretty bad, and I just could not think of a name, dude. I stuttered on my name. I was like, my name's Emily. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Let's come up this way. They're still behind me. I think... Let's just, you know, let's go all the way over. Let's go to the, let's go to Blaine County. Come on, Blaine County area. Am I good? Oh, no, I'm not good. Oh, he's following me. I just didn't see him. I just did not see him. You know, let's, let's go on the offensive. We're gonna go on the offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, made him crash. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That is what I'm talking about. I'm a shooter. He's still on me. Dude, chases with cops are fine. Chases with gang members or people like that are very, very stressful because they don't have any rules or regulations that they play by. They just go for the kill. And when I was talking to him, it did kind of confirm to me that they did kill the guy that bought the car, which I feel kind of bad for him. Uh, but again, that's not my fault. That's on him. Actually, it's entirely on me, but I'm going to say it's not on me to make myself feel better. But let's come up here. Spin around. Are they still on me? Oh, yeah, there's one down there. Did he see that? Does he know where I am? 
No, I don't think he knows where I am. Okay, cool. If he didn't see me pull off and didn't see me up here, that is a plus. I don't see anyone else. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue to drive around. All that kind of stuff. I have got to stash this thing because I don't really want to get spotted driving it around. I could also change the color. That might be a, a better option right now. I'm going to change the color really quick. That way, when I drive it back down to the city, I don't get spotted. So let's see if this, uh, if this mechanic shop is open to change the color really quick. Okay, yeah, they are. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, we changed the color on it. It's still tinted purple a little bit, but it should be good enough to get us to where we need to go without being completely spotted and called out. As long as they don't take a look at me inside of the car and say, hey, that's the fake lady that stole the car from us, dude. That's the fake lady. I mean, as long as I make it down to the city, okay, I should be chilling. So car number three is a big success. Uh, we got shot at a little bit, but you know, I'm used to it. I am totally, totally used to it. I'm coming down this road. Oh. Oh, they flip. Oh, both of them flip. I think they're both flipping. That's not good. And there's a third one? Dude, why are they here? Why are they on this road? I literally... Oh, I picked this road because I figured they wouldn't be on anywhere near it. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, one flipped around for sure. I, it's not purple. I mean, it's still purple tinted, so that's not great. I didn't change the pearl lesson on it. Maybe if I am normal. No. No, he knows. He knows. All right. That's that's the guy that I've been crashed out earlier, so he's probably not pretty happy with me. But it's good, and I think my car's running out of gas. We got to lose him very quick. All right. Let's come down here. I think I'm going to go to the river. The river seems like a good bet right now, so we just got to head down here. Hit this. Get over. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, my goodness. That was almost a really bad crash. Shoot at him a little bit. Let's try to get him back up. And I got to flip around and hit this jump. I got to flip around and hit this freaking jump. So let's go. Turn around. Turn around. The brakes are going out. And just one. This guy is definitely the fastest of the four. So as long as we can lose him, we should be fine. Because I'm, I'm not even seeing any of the other guys. But let's come up this way. Oh, no, 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 no. This car, dude. This freaking car, man. It is not like the speed on it man it's running out of gas so i don't have nearly as much acceleration as i should but i don't think i don't think the other guy knew where i went so i'm just gonna continue around here and i have to stash this thing dude i cannot just be driving this around because the cops are probably looking for me the gangs are looking for me the owner of the car well he's probably dead so he's probably not looking for me you know what there's actually a pretty good area to stash it i never stash cars here so this is probably a pretty good bet i'm around here open 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 and then open here all right, cool. I don't think I don't think any saw me come in here. So, Whew. all right, car number three is now successfully stolen. It wasn't before, but it is now. I'm not going that way, but I, I I'm not seeing it. I think the coast is clear. So I'm gonna get back in my normal outfit, my normal ped, and I'm gonna go track down the yellow Lamborghini. I think is what I'm gonna go for in this one, because that one is also worth a good amount of money, and I definitely want to recover it before anybody else decides to start stealing the cars. <laughs> Because, oh my goodness, this video could get pretty long if I don't be quick with it. All right, I was going to go grab the yellow Lambo, but the Ferrari that I sold is just been sitting on the side of the road for about 20 minutes. I have no idea what's going on with it. I don't know if they crashed it or if there's like a meat or something like that. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to see what's going on because I don't know where it is, though, dude. Like, I don't see it. Oh, OK, here it is. Uh, yeah, this thing looks crashed out. Yeah. Oh, what do they do? Bro, what do they do to my car? This thing is not drivable. OK, that's why it's been sitting here. All right, I'm going to go... Yeah, I got to go grab something. I'm just going to get a helicopter. So I'm going to get a cargo bob. I'm going to come back here, pick it up. We'll bring it to a mechanic shop and fix it up. I guess the most important thing is that I recovered it. I wish I recovered it in full condition, but who cares? We, we got it back. That's, that's all that matters here. Oh my God, almost just died. So let me go grab a cargo bob from the airport and I will be flying back to pick up the Ferrari very shortly. All right, we got the helicopter. This is just easier, uh, especially given the location of the uh, actual car and getting a tow truck because I'm not really trying to have a 10 hour drive back to the mechanic shop with it. So with this, we got to pick it up. Lucky for me, it's in an actual very recoverable area with the helicopter because sometimes if there's like buildings in the way, it's just not possible to take. Just come down and then let's pick it up. There we go. Perfect, dude. Perfect. I'm getting better at picking cars up with this thing. I'm getting better. So let's fly this thing up to Blaine County. We will drop it off at my mechanic shop and we will come back for it later after the video is already done recording. Oh, dude. 
what is so hard for people to drive, man? Like, just don't crash. It's that simple. That's pretty funny coming from me, though, because uh, I'm not the best driver. I'm not the worst driver, though. So that's, that's all that matters. You know, there's, there's people worse than me, clearly, because I don't even know how you crash on a road like that, dude. There's no obstructions. No obstructions at all. All right, mechanic shop is right in front of me. I am not going to drive it in. I'm just going to drop it here. You know, it can't get more damage than it already is. So I'm going to fly back down to the city and I am now going to go for the yellow Lambo because I really want to recover that. That is my personal car. That is one that I love very near and dear to my heart. I stole it about six months ago. It's one of my go-tos, you know? So I'm going to fly back to the city. We are going to track it down and then we're going to try to steal it back. All right, I got another car and I am currently tracking the yellow Lambo. I saw some stuff on Twitter about there being a car meet at the Amu Nation. So I'm going to head down there. I grabbed a GT3. This isn't really mine, I guess. Technically, it is, but I did steal it previously. So I think it's probably going to be on top of the ammunition right here. So we're going to pull up and kind of hold the guy with the yellow Lambo at gunpoint. You know, okay, we got a GT4, we got a yellow Lambo, and then we got a 4 GT here. You know, we're going to pull up like this. That is the guy we're trying to rob. I think we're just going to hop out, hold him at gunpoint, and take the car. Let's put the, let's put the gun away. Let's, let's talk to him first. Hey, what's up? I'm here for the car meet. What's going on? Hey, man. You like my new car? I do. I do. It's like super nice. Just bought it. How much you buy this for? Uh, The dealership down the street. I got it for like a mil or two. I don't even remember because I'm so rich. A mil or two? Really? He's a liar. He's he's a liar. Are you selling it by any chance? Like for sale maybe? Uh, nah, man. Just got it today. Can't sell it already, you know? Listen, Uh, how about I just take it? All right. How about I, how about I, how about I just take it? So put, whoa, put your hands up. Whoa, whoa, I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Why are there cops here? Why are there cops here? Listen, nobody move. Nobody move. Stop what are you doing? Guys, no. stop, stop. Listen, why are you here? What is going... What is going on? This was all. This was all a plan. This is all plan. Okay, this is a sting operation. Is this a sting op? You don't know what. You don't, you don't know what you got yourself. I don't think into. so. You know, I'm taking the car. I have keys to this. I don't care. A car. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Bye, gentlemen. Catch you later. All right, we gotta go. Dude, we just got set up. We actually just got set up and we got cops on us and they are in a lot faster cars than they were earlier. This is not fair. <laughs> this is not fair. Okay, dude, we have so many cops on us and they're all in interceptors. So uh, I guess I didn't look at the cars close enough that were there because uh, I totally thought that that was a car meet when I saw a, uh, a GT4 RS, a 4 GT and the Lambo all parked next to each other. I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Oops, I did not mean to crash there. I did not mean to crash. And these cops, dude, these cops. Let's go on the highway. Let's go on the highway. There's a lot of them. I think I might be faster, though. Either that or I'm just a better driver. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I mean, they're still going to be sticking to me. It's going to be a little bit difficult to lose them. I'm not too worried, though. I am not too, too worried. These Porsches, though, tend to be a little bit of, a, uh, of an issue. Dude, there's so many cops, man. There are so many. Let's put our seatbelt on. And let me just try to hit some little, little maneuvers. Some jumps. Like that. Nah, they followed me perfectly. They followed me perfectly. I thought for sure that was going to mess them up. All right. Oh, hang on. I'm starting to pull away, though. Oh, I wasn't looking. I was not looking. Are they still behind me? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, they are. I did not know if they uh, if they pulled off because I thought, you know, I didn't know if they thought I went a different way. But nope. Man, there's so much traffic. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, we're going to go up to Polito. I think the windy roads up there should be good. I think so, at least. So let's just keep... We're, uh, let's just keep swerving in and out of traffic. Let's not get killed here. Okay. Uh, I think the windy roads in uh, Sandy or like Route 68 in Polito would probably be the best bet for this. So let's just continue up here. And dude, there's so many. Like, I think there's like five or six of them. And that is not good because uh, that's five or six cops that I have to lose before I'm uh, free to take this car and put it back into my garage. All right. My God, dude, there's so many AI. There's so many of them. I think my stuff is faster than theirs. So that's good. But I mean, they're... They're just a little bit slower. You know, the margin there is not that big. Let's come around here. Sorry about that. Sorry, so sorry. I got the engine stalled. Please, please leave me alone. What did I even do? Name, name 10 laws I broke. No, I'm not pulling over. You, you pull over. <laughs> All right, let's go to Polito. I think Polito is probably the best bet. Here we go. I'm not looking behind me anymore. Well, unless I just want to make sure they won't pit me. I'm going to focus on losing them, focus on driving, because that is the only important thing right now, is that I focus on not crashing and not flying out of the windshield and getting killed. All right, I still see them back there. I still, I don't really hear them. I think they're chasing me without their sirens on because the AI keep turning into me. It's turning into them too, I guess, because uh, the AI, they hear sirens, they, they see lights, they freak out. So sometimes when the cops are in interceptors, they chase me silently. That way it's a little bit easier to drive, but that also helps me out because it means the AI won't freak out with there's seven cops behind me there we go come around here 
this around here. I have no idea if I'm clear or not. I'm going to continue down. I'm going to pull off somewhere in Polito and just make sure I'm not still being followed up here. So I'm going to turn off to the left. I'm going to swing through here. And I'm going to see if I can watch the cops go by. Oh, yeah. There they go. There they go, dude. Okay. That means I'm going to flip around like this. And I am going to head a little bit further into Polito. That way I can uh, stash the car in a good little spot. You know, let's just park it at one of these houses up here. You know, this is probably a good area. Right up here. It should be fine, I guess. It's on a tracker. So if it does get stolen from here, we can always get it back later. Which means that is what? Car number five, which has been successfully stolen. And that means there is one car left, which is the Tesla Roadster. I hear cops though. So I am going to get out of the area, head back down to the city. And I'm going to track it down and steal it back for the final time of this video. Okay, I'm on my way to the last car, which is the Tesla Roadster. And it pinged at a mansion over here in the Vinewood Hills. So I am going to swing by and i'm gonna see what is up should be right here and all right i immediately see a guard on the roof <laughs> okay all right i'm pretty sure this is the billionaire that came in and bought the roadster so that's uh you know, that's a little weird but all right, whatever you know lots of security they, they you know they already know i'm out stealing the car so it, it makes sense but i'm gonna go to the gun store i'm gonna gear up and i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna kill all their security steal the car and drive away okay i got all the weapons i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get on this roof right here and i am just gonna try to snipe as many guards as i can that way i can just run in take the car the, all the guards are gonna be dead and it would be super super easy for me to kill them all right so we're on the roof let me get my sniper out and i think there's guards out back yeah okay so what i'm gonna do is let's see all right there's a guard there guard by the door there's a guard on the roof and then i think there's some other guards in the front but you know what let's go ahead and take this guy out once i get a clear shot or should i do the guy by the door you know let's do the guy by the door first all right here we go count of three. One, two, three. Oh, easy snipe this guy on the roof too got him all right i don't think this guy noticed he's kind of stopped so let's let's aim in on him one two three boom there we go okay that's three guards down there's one in the front but i don't think i can get him so let's parachute into the backyard just like this land in the pool we're good now let's get our ar out and we're gonna make quick work we're gonna move through the house all right let's move through i don't see anyone dude i don't see anyone let's go out front go this way Oh, one guard down, one there. There's another one. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I think this is the last one. Move around this way, around the side, back behind here. Make sure this guy's dead. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. There we go, we got it, we got it, we, we got it, we got it. Okay. Make sure they're all completely down, dude. I don't want anyone getting back up and pointing their gun at me. There we go, dude. That was so clean. That was so clean. Now we got to get the car. Uh, I think the garage is this way. If my GTA 5 knowledge is correct. Yes, the garage is here. We got the Tesla. Let's hop in. Drive out of here. Hopefully the gate is unlocked. I didn't actually test that. Oh, and there's an angry dog. There's an angry dog. I'm not here to kill you, Fido. I'm not here to kill you, Spot. All right, we're going. We are going for any cops have the chance to respond. This car is super nice, dude. I am kind of happy I saved this for last. This thing is beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, that is every single car today stolen successfully. I don't think we had a single fail in this video, which is very, very rare. But all right, dude, I am very happy with the money we've made in this video. We are up millions and millions and millions of dollars today. Guys, today I logged into my friend Keegan's account and I'm going to mess with him. I have a list of a bunch of stuff I plan on doing and he doesn't know I'm doing this. So don't tell him please because he's probably gonna be pretty mad and as you can see we are keegan we have his entire inventory of all his stuff we also have access to his house like this is literally just where i spawned so let me just walk around and let me mess with stuff because i've actually never been in here before i mean i guess he you know he kind of lives like a grandma dude like what is this house like who is this guy on the wall is that the king I don't know, but dude, I mean, it's a pretty nice house. You know, it's pretty big. Keegan's a, Keegan's a rich guy. But that actually reminds me, <laughs> Keegan's so rich. I'm going to give myself a bunch of his money. <laughs> Whoa, $4.8 million. I'm definitely giving myself money. Let's, let's go to my state ID, transfer state ID amount. All right, let's not do all of it. Let's be nice. Let's do, let's do a million. There we go. Thank you. All right. We just transferred ourselves a million bucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, dude, I love this. I love this. You know, his house is pretty boring, though. So I'm going to come over here to his garage because he has a couple of cars. I don't know if they're spawned in. They should be at least one or two. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, we got Keegan's orange Audi R8 and we have a G-Wagon. I've never seen him drive this before. That gives me an idea. <laughs> that gives me an idea. Hang on. Hang on. I got an idea. I'm going to take this car and I'm going to go buy something from the store really quick and I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're over here at the gun store in the city. So let me just park up. We're going to run in. I'm going to grab some stuff that I think uh, I'm going to use to mess with them. All right, I bought the Molotovs. So we got those. Let me go back to his house because I'm not done yet. I am not done yet with that. All right, so let's pull back into his house. And Keegan has been kind of rude to me lately. Like, he hasn't been very nice. So I think what I'm going to do is... We're just going to throw, <laughs> throw Molotovs at his house, dude. You know, light his house on fire. Dude, this is what you get. If you're a bad friend, this is what you get. People over here, who are you? Don't know. Oh, it didn't even catch him on fire, though. It definitely caught his house on fire. So, uh, you know what? I think I'm done here. But, I mean, I have his car. May as well just drive the car into the pool. All right. There we go. Yeah, good luck getting this out. There you go. Be nicer to me, Keegan. All right, if you're watching this, which you probably will be, be nicer to me. That's the lesson of the day. All right, so his car's in the pool. We lit his house on fire a little bit. We looked through his stuff. Give myself a million bucks. He still has another car. I think that's not enough. You know, I need a video, all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in this Audi R8 he has here, which is super nice, by the way. Keegan, good taste, man. Don't love the color, but you know, whatever. We could paint it up later. What I'm going to do is the money means nothing to him. You know, Keegan's a rich guy. We have to give him something that will be annoying. And I think that is going to be making the entire server mad at him and uh, giving him a warrant out for his arrest because that will definitely hinder him what he's trying to record in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start robbing some stores, robbing some banks. I'll give money to some random people. And then uh, at the end, there's also a car dealership that's open. So we might want to swing by there because if there's one thing I know, the dealership guys don't mess around and they hold a huge huge grudge the one thing with this is uh i don't have a voice changer you know i don't have a keegan soundboard or anything like that so if anybody hears me they're gonna know it's not me unless i you know am kind of careful with it but we're gonna head down to one of the stores in the city and we're just gonna rob it really quick get the cops on us uh oh oh and i'm dead all right well luckily that didn't hurt me that hurt keegan <laughs> all right we're fine we're fine. We're going to get in our car. I'm uh, you know, sorry for busting it up. I feel like this could be a little bit mean. You know, I feel a little bad. But at the end of the day, the amount of stuff Keegan has done to me over time, he's messed up plans. He's betrayed me. He's made fun of me. That all ends today. I am taking my revenge. I also just realized I have his Twitter account. So we come on here. We can tweet out something. We can say, all right, I'm saying giving free money to the first person who responds to this tweet. And you know what? I got an idea. Actually, I got an idea to make sure they know it's me. They know it's it's legit. It's not, you know, it's not some scammer. Take a picture of ourselves. Cheese. There we go. Oh, there's a cop here. <laughs> I was taking a picture. I was taking a picture. We're going to have some people respond to the tweets. Let's see if anybody, anybody puts it out yet. Oh, someone just did. Someone just put it out. JP says at Keegs in me. My state ID is 140. All right. 140 JP. It's your lucky day. All right. We go 140, 200, thousand and boom transfer 200k to a random person jp you are welcome no idea who that is i just given keegan's money out for free like it's mine <laughs> but here we are we're at the store let's park up hop out and rob this place hello 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 lockpick register here we go all right what that's totally the thing bro it's fine it's fine as long as the cops aren't here too quickly i don't have a hostage never mind <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. QYP5. QYP5. Here we go. All right. We got that register. The cops are still here. They're not trying to talk to me yet. So that's good. Let's move on to this one. The goal for this is just kind of rack up as much charges on Keegan as I can. You know, like the good friend I am. There we go. Successfully got that. 52 seconds and then we can leave. The cops are just looking at me. I mean, this is a normal occurrence for the server. I think Keegan probably robs a store multiple times a week. That's how he has $4.8 million. Well, I should say $3.6 million now because I did steal 1.2. All right, I did steal 1.2. And I also trashed a $250,000 car. He's gonna be pretty mad at me. I will be getting a DM later, I'm sure. <laughs> But if this doesn't teach him to be nice to me, I don't know what will. I have to say very limited words to the cops. So I'm kind of just going to tell them bye-bye uh, and then leave. So let's see. Let's see. What do you think you're doing? Robbing the store? Hmm? Huh? Me? You, you just robbed the store, bro. Bye-bye. What? 
I can't say anything. I can't say anything. He's going to know I'm not Keegan. And then they're not going to give Keegan the charges. But Juice, we got to go. We got to go. All right. First cop chase as Keegan. All right. Day in the life of Mouse Boy. Here we go. But guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, it means a lot. If you leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I mean, we're almost at 500K. We're basically there. And if you want to be in the under 500K club, hit the sub button. All right. It's very exclusive. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. He went flying. <laughs> All right. I don't really know what to say to uh to keegan or as keegan i guess but whatever whatever we're good we're good we're just gonna keep driving uh if i can lose them then i'm gonna go on to do another store then i'm gonna send some more money to people steal some more money for myself and then i want to get to the car dealership before they close i'm not trying to steal all of them i'm just gonna steal a couple all right and i'm gonna give the cars to keegan and that will be my apology for this video i'll say you know what here's a couple nice cars that i stole for you you're welcome he's probably gonna be thanking me by the end of this i'm gonna be honest he's gonna be thanking me but the cop behind me break check him that kind of that made it worse for me to be honest with you that was not the best decision not the best decision at all another idea that i have is uh if keegan dies or goes to jail i'm just adding on to his criminal record and if he ever wants to get a legit job or a job at the pd in the server it's going to be very difficult when he has 19 counts of murdering a cop on his record <laughs> why are you turning into me don't do that ai don't do that let's go down here up down oh my god what is he doing the cop just went in the water is he actually stupid bro what <laughs> all right whatever whatever here we go we got a couple cops on us you know what i'm just gonna head directly to another store why not you know if i get arrested it doesn't hurt me it takes a little bit of my time but you know <laughs> and as long as kiki doesn't realize i'm on his account before he uh you know kicks me off I should be good. So let's hop out here, run into the store, and we're going to lockpick more of the registers. Just chain robbing, baby. We're just chain robbing some stores. All right, looking for PKMF. I got that register. Now let's get this one too. All right, we got even more cops pulling up, man. We got even more cops pulling up. There we go. All right, we got the last register. We're hopping out. The cops are still waiting for me. I'm kind of surprised they're just letting me do it. You know, the cops are way nicer to Keegan than they are to me which is uh, interesting, you know, to say the least. We got three cops on us. It's all good. We can lose them. And if not, he can go to jail. And it goes on his record, and then we're done. <laughs> all right, here we go, dude. Here we freaking go. Oops, I... Oh, watch it. Almost just died. That cop just crashed to save himself from killing me. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. All righty. Got some cops on me. Just two. I think the one cop crashed out, so he's probably out of the chase. Oh, sorry, ma'am. My apologies. My apologies. But again, I can't talk to them. If I talk to them, they're going to know. And I don't know what they would do in that situation. Because I'm, I'm not just dressed as Keegan. I'm actually on his account. So they could fingerprint me, do DNA testing, all that sort of stuff. Oh, boy. Okay. And uh, back to what I was saying. They could do it, and it would show that I am Keegan. So I don't know how they would react if they know it's me playing on his account, if they would charge me or if they would charge him. That'd be kind of interesting to see. Maybe we'll test that at the end of the video. But for now, we're just going to continue. We're going to drive around. Uh, just try to rob more stores. And oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. i just trying to dodge cops left, right, and center. Left, right, and freaking center. All right, we got what, three cops or four on us. Three or four cops. No, nope, not a problem. No problemo. No problemo at all. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Dude, my steering wheel gave out. What the heck was that? That was not me. That was not intentional. All right. Going up to Vinewood. Oh, my God. My roads are breaking in the engine stalled. Roads are breaking in the engine stalled. Bro. These cops, man. These cops. Get unstuck. Get unstuck. I need to get out of this area. I need to get out of this area. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're good. We're finally good. Let's go a little bit more north. All right, come up here. There's another store up here. I want to do one more store. If I can do one more store successfully, it, it, we're, yeah, that'd, be, that'd be perfect. That'd actually be perfect. So let's come around this way. Oh, my goodness. The roads, bro. Where am I? My game is melting. It's melting, man. Excuse me. Thank you. We're robbing this one. Hopefully, they let me do it. So, here we go. First register. All right. And now, let's go on to the second one. Here we go. Right, and the second register is robbed. And 
Did that cop just murder that man? That cop just innocently murdered a guy. Bro. Also, can we acknowledge something really quickly? Whenever I rob a store, God forbid I don't have a hostage because the cops will just, uh, will just shoot me. They'll tackle me. They'll tase me. They'll pit me into a wall. But Keegan doesn't have a hostage. They just let him do what he wants. You know what? Not a fair playing field. But I, I take that. That means that they think I'm better than he is. You know, so they, they have to give him a pass of sorts because he's so bad at the game to where when I do it, they're like, oh, he's so good. Let's just, you know, give it our all. But whatever, you know, whatever. It's all good. Let's try to lose these cops, though, because uh, although I don't care if Kicking goes to jail, it's still my time that I'm going to be serving in the server. So here we go up here. And oh, cops exploded, which means I think we're good. I think we are clear. That was super smooth. I like this car. You know, Keegan, you, you have a good, uh, you have good taste in vehicles, man. You, you have good taste in vehicles. So let's come up here over this. All right. And we are good. But you know what? This car has served me decently well. So I was going to destroy it, but I have an emotional attachment to it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the car dealership that is open. I'm going to rob some of them. Not all of them. You know, I'm not going to go for the full thing. Just try to take as many as I can without having to say anything. Put them in Keegan's garage. That'll be his, uh, his little, you know, sorry that I did this to him. <laughs> and then we should be good. So let me drive up there now and we will get on with the rest of the plan. All right, the dealership should be right in front of me. I am going to probably have to talk to the dealership worker a little bit, but I'm going to try to keep it on the lower end. That way, you know, it's not totally obvious. Uh, yeah, it should be right up here. There's a cop behind there, though. Uh, so, that, you know, cops kind of stalk the dealerships now a little bit just because I rob them so much. But it doesn't matter if Keegan goes to jail, whatever. Who cares, you know? Yeah, okay. He saw me pull a gun out. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's getting ready. He's getting ready, but who cares? Whatever, whatever. All right, let's see. They've been open for a few hours. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're actually down most of their cars, but they got a couple nice ones still. We got a Ford GT, a Lamborghini, and a Ferrari. Let's we got a Tesla Roadster over there too. So we a couple options. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Very good. Welcome to our dealership. Oh, thank you. My name's Tucker. I'm just here to look at some cars. Okay, what what kind of cars are you interested in? I mean, we only have a choice of four. Four. Yeah, you guys are like, well, you half out. You've been open for a while. We sold, yeah, three of them. Three of them. Okay. Um, I'm liking this yellow one. This one right here. This is pretty nice. Matches the vibe. Yes. Can I test drive them? Uh, I would need a ID in order to test drive. Um, I don't actually have an ID on me. But like, I, what if I promise that I won't scratch it? I mean, I guess that works too. I would need to accompany you on this ride. Yeah, here, just slide the keys over real quick and then uh, we'll hop in. Thank you. Okay, he's coming with me. Um, Hey, uh, could you actually hop out a little bit? I need like, you can guide me out so I don't scratch yeah, it just course, on the way out. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Just, am I good? Am I clear? You need to just back up a little bit. I got a little bit. Oh, there we go. You might skin the counter rather. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're leaving this way and I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. All right, dude. We got the first car. I got a Lamborghini. Oh, and the cops chasing me, though. It's all good. It's all good. We get the Lambo. What kind of Lambo is this? This is a Lamborghini Diablo. All right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. I don't know how fast it is, though. I've never really driven this that much. Uh, it's pretty nice. Got the pop up headlights. You know, it's basically a Miata. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get hate for saying that, but. <laughs> <laughs> just messing around all right uh, as long as we actually keep this car uh keegan will get to keep it as well so that, that's nice you know i'm a nice guy for that i feel a little bad for the dealership workers again it's not me doing this i'm not doing them wrong keegan's doing them wrong so let's come around this way this here we go and then i want to come around here and this should be a little jump uh or where are my roads oh my goodness where are my roads come around and here how did that stall my engine? How's that? Oh my. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, that gives me a good option. Here we go. Down here. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't see that. He didn't see that. We're good. We are good. <laughs> All right. You know, let me go bring this to Keegan's house. We'll park this in his garage. Oops, over where, uh, you know, 
it'll put it in his garage in place of the G wagon that we destroyed earlier. All right, here we are. Open the garage and we will park this inside. There you go, Keegan. You're welcome. But you know what? I am at the house again. I'm going to take a little bit of a look around because I realized I walked in and I didn't even think that I can steal stuff from him, bring it over to my house right across the street. And then uh, <laughs> just I can, it, it'll be my stuff, you know, it'll be mine. We're in his kitchen. Uh, let's see what we got. We got some cupcakes, some pizza. Um, yeah, man. I mean, this house is pretty mid. <laughs> This house is pretty mid compared to mine. Also, if you guys want to see a house tour of my house, my warehouses, all that kind of stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Some people aren't asking for that, but I don't know if uh, enough people actually want to see it. Let's see. I'm just trying to find some stuff that's actually nice, man. Like, I don't need these empty bedrooms. What is a bathroom? Yep. Okay. There's a nice staircase going up there. Pool table. Nothing worth stealing, man. Nothing worth stealing. Come on, Keegan. Got some alcohol. This guy looks pretty cool on the wall. Is there like a secret door here, maybe? No? All right. Whatever. Dude, I just want one thing to steal all right bro come on give me give me one thing to steal all right let's go up the staircase let's see what he has up here he's got to be like some gold or like some watches or stuff oh there's a watch okay here here we go there we go dude we got the gold watch easy peasy that's a good twenty thousand dollars right there another boring bedroom oh but there's money on the table easy 300 bucks not bad you don't Come on, Keegan. I have millions laying around. I got millions. Unless you watch this video. In that case, my house is not worth robbing. Don't touch it. I will kill you. Let's check some of these drawers, dude. Let's check some of these drawers. All right. A couple more watches. Not bad. Not bad. We're making a good amount of money here. And I gave him a Lambo. I feel like this is an easy trade-off. This is an easy trade-off. Where's Keegan's bedroom? I want to mess with his bed. We put like, like pins and needles in it or something. Uh, nothing in here. A TV. Um, again, not much. More money. We'll take this. Why not? 600? Alright, that's what I'd like to see. And uh, that was a thousand oh another watch there we go and let me let me take the tv while i'm at it there we go all right I, i'm sufficed that that's enough stuff from keegan's house i can't go out that way all right so let me walk all the way down and uh, i don't want to get too distracted because there's still another car to steal or another two cars to steal or however many i want to do i don't really want to wipe the dealership out he seems kind of nice so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring some of the stuff i just stole over to my house across the street then all we gotta do is steal one or two more cars from the dealership and then i'll call that a day i'm pretty happy with how things are going so far oh Oh, dude, I try to unlock my gate and I don't have keys because I'm on Keegan's account. Not authorized. All right, whatever, whatever. We'll, we'll drop it here. I'll pick it up when I log back into the server. There we go. <laughs> totally forgot about that, man. I totally forgot about that. So I will hop in this random AI Ferrari that's here. Drive down to the dealership, steal one or two more cars, and we should be good to go. All right, here we go in this Ferrari. I don't think this is Keegan's. I think this is randomly spawning, which is kind of unfair because I don't have random Ferraris spawning in my house, dude. I don't know what developer he's paying extra to... Uh, <laughs> to do that stuff, man. But come on. Oh, where, where's my random Ferraris? I'm not entirely sure how we're going to steal the rest of the cars because I definitely want the Ford GT and the Tesla Roadster would also be pretty nice. I would steal that Ferrari, but it's the cheapest of the cars that are there. So it's not really worth it, especially when the other two are worth so much money. I think the dealership is up this way. I was trying to figure out where it was. I believe it is up here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run in, hack into it. And yeah, there are cops here, which is slightly annoying. It's fine. It's all good. You can find a way around it. Oh, I hear another cop though, too. Yeah, let's park up. Yeah, here's another one as well. All right. Mm. I'm going to do something risky. I'm going to run and hold my gunpoint. I'm running and holding a gunpoint. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. Here we go. Running in. I don't really want to change outfits. I don't know what Keegan has spawned in. Did this cop see me? No, he didn't. All right, here we go. Hands up. Heads up. Heads up. What? I'm back. Listen, listen, officers. It's me, Tucker Lawson. Dealership worker. Please give me keys to the 4GT. Now, please, please, please. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Unlock it. We're going to hop in it. Please don't do anything stupid. Hasta la vista. All right. Nobody's mentioned me talking yet. Nobody has said a single thing. But we got the 4GT. They're running back to their cars. I'm not sticking around. I am not sticking around. We are going. We're getting out of here. I think I will have enough time to steal the Tesla Roadster. Because that thing is worth a good amount of money. And you know what? I stole some millions from Keegan. But I'm basically giving him all the money back in cars. The downside is he will have multiple warrants for his arrest. And the dealership owner uh, is probably going to hate him. So, <laughs> so there's that. But you know what? This video is not meant to be a positive thing for Keegan. It's meant to be... Uh, I'm just messing with him. You know, I'm trolling him. All right, that's what friends do. They troll each other. Don't turn into me. Yeah, there we go. Ford GT. This thing's super nice. I have a couple of these in the collection. I don't know if Keegan has any. Get down here. This. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We get out of here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we're good. 
We're good. Why is an NPC trying to box me in? Why is an NPC trying to box me in? That jump did not go as well as I was hoping for. We're good. We're fine. We're totally, totally fine. Um, These cops are really sticking to me, though. Okay, almost spun out. Almost spun out. We're good, though. We are good. We're fine. Everything's good. Yeah, they're a lot faster than me, I think. And, of course, the AI is turning into me. They're sabotaging me, dude. They're sabotaging me. We had a couple of jabronis. Yeah, this guy on me, man. This guy in the Charger is going to be an issue. Because I love this car. Top speed, not one of the strong suits. It's pretty well-rounded for a car, though. Like, turning, braking, acceleration, all that stuff is pretty nice. It does take a minute for the car to get up to speed, though. So I think I'm probably going to want to go in a straightaway. Yeah, there we go. I was debating. Oh, dude, the cops are flipping. Oh, my goodness. They are totally flipping. Watch this. Let's hope no one saw that. We'll go this way. Yeah, I don't think any of them saw that. Bro, I I'm doing way better. Keegan must have some sort of invincibility cloak on, on his account. Because I don't... Like, the cops are not nearly this blind with me. They're not nearly this blind. But I'm actually right by Keegan's house. So let's go up there, stash the car. And we will go back for one more. I'm thinking the Roadster. Because I'm not sure. The 812 is very, very expensive. It's like 800k. But I think the Tesla Roadster is like a million. I think. I'm not entirely sure. All right. So park this over here. All right. Here we go. Park this here. I'm not fixing them. All right. Keegan can fix them on his own. I got them in his garage, and that's all that really matters. So we are going to head down and steal one final car from the dealership, hopefully without getting arrested, because I have a feeling Keegan's going to be trying to get on a record soon, and he's going to see, why can't I log in? <laughs> Who's on my account? Uh, but guys, also, just a reminder, change your passwords, all right? Change your passwords. Like, obviously, I know his account details, just because I, you know, am an owner of the server. I can get into his account, but, you know, just be cybersecurity safe. All right, we're back over at the dealership. I think the cops are gone. Yeah, it looks like the cops are gone. So I'm just going back in. Hey. Oh, I don't have my gun out. Hey. Hey. It's me. I'm back. Get back out. Get out of the store. No, I'm not getting out of the store. Listen. Oh, okay. 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 If you tell the cops who did this, all right, tell them it was Tucker Lawson. I will. Definitely. I'm Tucker Lawson. Question. Which car is more expensive? The Roadster or the Ferrari 812? I should tell you it's the Tesla, but it's the Ferrari. Hmm. It's the Ferrari. Are you, are you lying to me? It's, it's the Ferrari. I promise. It's the Ferrari. You know what? Please don't shoot me. Hmm. All right. Give me keys to the Ferrari. Let's go. Let's go. I thought the Tesla Roadster was like a million bucks, but I'll take your word for it. I, I don't not know how much Tesla's cost. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll leave you with the last car. Right? You can sell that thing, make a, a nice profit. All right, have a nice day. All right. I thought the Tesla was worth more money, but apparently the Ferrari was. I, I'll take his word for it. You know what? Hi, officers. I probably shouldn't have shot in the air because uh, now the cops are here, but we're good. We're all good. We just got to lose them. This thing is so fast. Bro, I drove this thing like a week ago. It was not this fast. They must have buffed it. They must have buffed it. We're good. Let's just continue down this way. Oops. 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 We're scratching it. We're scratching it. We're good, though. Come down here like this. Let's hit a jump like this onto the side, onto the train tracks, onto the train tracks. We're going to hit the barrier, but it's fine. We are totally good. The cops are going to be crashing out like that. Come around the alleyways over here. And watch this, watch this, watch this. You're going to have no idea. Oh, I think he saw me, dude. I didn't turn around. I didn't turn around quick enough. I did not turn around quick enough. That sucks. Uh, I hear a helicopter, though. Is that a PD? No, it's AI. And the, oh, dude, the cops are literally just crashing over and over and over again. It's like the easiest... <laughs> It's just the easiest video I've ever done. This is so freaking easy. All right. Let's come up this way. Oh, my God. This thing is so low to the ground. It couldn't even get up that. Here we go. Oh, there goes my door up here. And this way. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Guys, I'm pretty sure I've already said this video, but you may as well hit the sub button. Oh my goodness, dude. These cops cannot freaking drive. They cannot drive and my computer cannot generate roads for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. Let's just continue on the straightaway. I have one of these in my, in my own garage. I love it. It's actually my favorite car. Not my favorite car. It's my favorite Ferrari in real life on the list of dream cars. I love it. And I love it just as much in game because it can help me escape the cops by being an absolute rocket. 
it. So let's come up here and let's swing all the way back around to the city to where we can go to Keegan's house, put the car there and leave it. I still hear the cops. So I think they're going to be coming up here and I'm going to be going all the way back down. So that was kind of a 500 IQ move if I do say so myself. But you know what? I just kind of realized I feel bad for the dealership worker. So I'm going to give him some compensation through Keegan's account just as our one final thing. So let me head down there really, really quick. I'm going to give him some cash, cash of Keegan's, of course, not cash of mine, uh, just to say sorry for robbing your dealership. All right, here we are back at Keegan's house. We're going to park this here. I left the R8. Where are the cars? Oh, okay. There. Oh my God, I got scared. I thought I got raided. I thought Keegan got raided, but I'm going to go get the R8 that I left at the dealership. I'm going to give the dealership worker some money from Keegan's account, and we're going to come back here and tally up the damage we've done. <laughs> All right, and we are back. This guy does not look too happy. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello. I'm not here to rob you. I'm not here to rob you. All right, chill. I'm not here to rob you. Stop moving. I'm not here to rob you. I'm giving you money. Really? Yeah, here's here's 100K, all right? And uh, tell the cops to put multiple warrants out for my arrest, okay? Tell them to do that. You got that? I already have. You've got a wanted post. Okay, all right. Well, I'm very wanted. Well, <laughs> that was the plan. We're going to recover Kika's car, the Audi R8. Super, super damaged, but whatever. May as well damage it a little bit more on the way back. Oh my God, it won't even turn on. You know what? Boom. All right. That's another 10K right there. Yep. Another 600. Yep. Let's just barrel through that. That's a big fine for knocking out the light pole. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so mad at me, dude. He's going to be actually be so mad. But we are recovering Keegan's car, bringing it back to his house where we started the day off with two cars. I destroyed one and gave him three brand new ones. So I would say that I think uh, today is pretty even in the damage that I've done. You know, I have warrants out for his arrest. People have grudges against him. Why is this thing in the air? What is going on? I have no idea. But guys, this was something a little bit different. I thought it was going to be a really funny idea. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And again, please don't tell Keegan I did this because he's going to be pissed. <laughs> Anyways, guys, leave a like, a sub, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.